<coughs> Hello. Hopefully, there we go. That should be a little bit better. Hello. How's everybody doing, doing today? As you can see, I finally got the lights. It took me a while, but we finally got there. There you go. Got Restream up. Got... Yeah, everything looks like it's good to go. But yeah, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully, everything's going good for everybody. Hopefully, everyone is having a good weekend so far. Um... I've been a little bit down in the dumps myself, been dealing with some stuff, so, uh, I took a small break, but I'm back now. Hopefully, uh, no more breaks are needed. But, um, yeah, as you can see, the, uh, I do have some new lights up here, make things look a little bit brighter. Um, I'm actually probably gonna turn down the main lamp here real quick, give me just a moment, I don't... White. We do a nice, cool. Maybe. Let's keep us. Let's keep us around like a nice little purple back there. There we go. Oh yeah. Work has been intense. I'll tell you that. My goodness. One thing after another. I'll tell you that. But, I can't think of too many things that are going on. Oh, um, Beardly Niji is back into streaming once again, so by all means, check out his his channel, please. He does some amazing work. He's currently playing um, uh, Destiny 2, which is a, if I'm not mistaken, free-to-play now, so... Uh, that is definitely nice. Um, I wish I had more people to, to pump up when it came to, uh, fellow streamers. Unfortunately, uh, not too many. Uh, of course, Watermouse, who's always a, uh, who's always in the building in one way or another. Uh, Watermouse also does some streaming as well. Check out his Twitch as well. Um, but yeah. ADC, of course, uh, I'm not sure if ADC is currently here but um 80's been giving me some support so i really appreciate it for kind of pumping me back up there <coughs> so yeah uh today we will be continuing the harry potter series that we had going on for quite some time we're on the gamecube version and that'll be fun um if for any reason you did not see. Oh, you know what? I didn't even turn down the music. I usually do that right before we start our stream, don't we? It's pretty low already enough as it is, but... Turn it down just a little bit. Um, if you saw from the title of the video. We are going to be delving into some interesting parts of the game today. Uh, the last time I remember where uh, Hermione was uh, mentioning that we needed the Hogwarts history book. We're going to go do that, but if I'm not mistaken, there is a boss coming up and it is a literal bookshelf. If I am not mistaken, we are going to be fighting knowledge today, so that'll be interesting. Um, I believe there should be something with Goyle coming up as well. If I'm not mistaken, you do fight Malfoy first, which we did in the uh, Dueling Club. Uh, or not Dueling, it's technically not a Dueling Club in the console versions, but... Um... Oh, what is it? Um, the uh, Expelliarmus uh, class with Professor Lockhart, you did a little bit of dueling in that. Um, so Malfoy was first. I believe you fight Goyle next. I don't remember if we fight Crab, or it might just go Malfoy, Goyle, Malfoy again, but... And today's, um, 
food or drink sponsor if, if you're new here to the streams of course i usually try to eat on stream give a little bit of a comfortable vibe of uh you know i'm not doing video game streams so much as i am hanging out so uh i welcome y'all to join me with a meal here have some breakfast lunch dinner a snack something along with me so that uh you know we're just two friends hanging out talking about random stuff and having a little meal in the meantime especially since nowadays uh, not too many people can really go out and about uh, especially if you're here in the uh, United States unfortunately much of us has uh, continued to be uh, closed down to due to various reasons so um, uh, at least here we can hang out you know this is not beer, by the way. This is cream soda. Just wanted to point that out. I do not drink, although I did get close for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, I can't speak. St. Patrick's Day. There we go. Almost. Got offered. Turned it down. And looking back on it, I probably should have said yes. Just for the experience of such. I was amongst good people, so hey. Oh, do I have my cables ready? Uh, I still have not gotten a new cable, unfortunately. <clears throat> ah. uh, you might hear me uh, cough or clear my throat a little bit more. I do have asthma, and asthma uh, does not affect me for most of the year. But when it comes to uh, the end of April and the beginning of May, it gets extreme. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get as extreme as it did uh, for the past few years. Last year I was safe, um, but it does get extreme uh, to the point where I do have to go to the hospital uh, for the past few years minus last year. So hopefully it doesn't get too bad this year, but yeah, we shall see. We have one single viewer. Welcome. <laughs> um... By the way, this little cat thing is not new. Um, he's been over on the desk over here for the longest time. I just decided to have a friend along with me for the ride, you know? So. I'm going to wait a little bit longer just to make sure we have some of our regulars uh, come on in. See some um, familiar names. As we shoot the shite, as they say. <sighs> uh, also, you might be noticing that some of the lights are a little bit, uh, well, non-existent in the back. Uh, they are still there, uh, just in a different, uh, different way. So in this case, uh, you can see this one right here. Oops. Oh, God. I have some of the lights kind of hanging down from that. So there you go. You can see where those lights are going. That's kind of the theme I'm going for. So uh, once I get more vines going across, I'll be hanging all these lights in the background up beyond there and then getting myself a second pair of lights to go in the back once again. So it'll look nice at the end of the day. <clears throat> hmm. But yeah, so we're doing cream soda today. And then I also have some uh, nachos here to the side I'll be snacking on as we play through. And of course, apologies for being uh, fairly mellow. You know how these streams usually start out, and you definitely know how they usually end. <laughs> We start out mellow. Once we start having some fun, that's when we start getting the the energy out and about. <clears throat> Let me make sure everything is looking good on my end. Oh, and I do want to welcome some new people. We had 
on the last uh, couple streams, uh, quite a few people we've we've uh, I don't want to say received. You're not packages, but uh, quite a few people we have had uh, recently find us. We had um, in the last two weeks uh, we had a raid of three people. That was uh, Dynamic Raven who started that. Um, we've had uh, uh, Ginger Wall who came in. Very nice to have them on board. Eric has uh, since switched between YouTube and now Twitch. Um, Mysterious, uh, Mis uh, Mysterious XD is now following us on Twitter as well. I mean, not on Twitter, Twitch. Uh, Inuyasha Gay, we had uh, a very interesting conversation a couple weeks ago. Very happy to have them on board, though. Uh, they definitely opened up a... Uh, kind of an, uh, a slightly ongoing trend in the last couple of videos that uh, <laughs> are interesting. Uh, Reality Rebel 23 came on board and, and chatted us up for quite a bit. That was nice to see. Uh, Baked Bortles has uh, also joined us. Baked Bortles is, is a very welcome new addition to our our kind of uh, cult. <laughs> our friend group that we're going, that we have going on that we have joked uh seems a little bit more cultish these days and of course uh finally uh edro 71 as well so some nice people uh coming on board uh is that a uh, person i see jessica hello welcome to the stream good to see you now uh, as i as we all know here on stream whenever we see jessica in the chat it is one of 10 people <laughs> So who who is it who is watching me today? Is it you, Haley? Is it Bryant? Is it actually Jessica? Is it Marvin? Who's on board with us? Oh, and if of course uh, we could get a uh, once we have more people on board, I would I would like to have. Um, like little birthday shout outs for people so once we have um, enough people to say you know happy birthday in the chat uh, I'm going to start calling people out for their birthdays and kind of getting them some well wishes from uh, you guys that'd be kind of cool that's little shout outs but yeah I think we can start our stream here usually we try to uh, we try to sit back and relax a little bit all of them oh <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, everybody. I'm assuming if mom is there as well. Hello. Hello, mom. Uh, ADC, hey, speak of the devil. Hello, hello. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I did get your message. I replied to it. Um, I am doing much better. Thank you very much. And I'm back. So, all right. Well, we got a couple of the regulars in. Let's go ahead and get this started. Like I said before, uh, people who are new here, uh, I do give a sort of um, a little let's chat section to begin to get everyone kind of, I don't know, relaxed and, you know, feeling good and, you know, just ready for a, a nice time to relax, you know. Um, so the first 20 minutes of the stream is usually just us chatting and seeing how everyone is catching up with each other. Uh, I'm fine. More importantly, how are you, buddy? I'm doing much better. I'm doing much better. I was doing, uh, wasn't doing too good. Now I am. Well, I'm doing as good as any one of us can be nowadays. I tell you that. But yeah. Oh. So let's go ahead and get in on here. Uh, yeah, with surprise. Saturday night stream. Harry Potter two. My night is made. <laughs> there we go. Gotta stick positive. What do you think of the uh, the new lighting setup? By the way, hopefully you like it. I got a new uh, a new light that came in. I told you guys I was gonna get a new light on Tuesday, and I was not lying. I do have a new lighting thing going on. Much brighter, makes the camera look a lot better too. I don't know. I like it. All right, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's go ahead and. I can close those. I'm just in the background closing some unnecessary uh, programs real quick just so we can 
have as much memory on here as possible for us. Uh, looking good. Love the cat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was explaining at the beginning of the stream, uh, this is not a new cat. The cat has actually been on the desk all the way over here out of sight. Um, but I decided to just kind of have a little little friend up here to join us, you know. Uh, OMG, I unlocked an emote on a channel just for this stream. Just for this stream? What is this? Let me see. Hold on. God, I feel like an old man. Hold on, let me move this over to this. <laughs> uh, of course, it's uh, Mr. Harry Potter himself. I like that. <laughs> oh, I like that. Much approval. Much approval. All right, let's go ahead and boost this. Oh, goodness, it takes so long to get this going. All right, let's go to the music. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Whenever it would like to there we go. I cannot wait to get that new computer. I'll tell you, or new computer parts. Cannot wait. Well, why are you not? Oh, there we go. For some reason, it was not boosting. Uh, digging the greenery. Thank you very much. I wanted to get get kind of a, I don't know, a, like like I said before, I like a little bit of a, a peaceful vibe, and one of the things that always makes it peaceful is nature. I was brought up on a uh, two acre backyard. My grandparents had a two acre backyard as well, and so um, I don't know. I'm used to the nature thing, and then outside. Uh, one, uh, past the patio. I'll have to bring the camera out there one of these days. Uh, there's a nice creek and a whole bunch of very tall trees, and it's just, it's gorgeous. I tell you that. Absolutely. Okay, let's open up Dolphin. Each stream is looking more and more homely. Glad you're settling in. Thank you. you know, when I first started, it was, um... It was, um... It was the remnants of an old and shared room, and, and uh, that person had long since been gone. So it was, I didn't have the chance to quite make it my own because I knew we were moving out soon, and uh, uh, I didn't quite want to put in the effort just at the time. Now I have my own room, 100%. Get to do whatever I want with it, which is nice. All right, let's go ahead and switch this over here. I'm, I'm very glad you're liking it, though. I am trying to make it my own thing, but I also want to make it look nice and presentable, uh, presentable to you guys as well. So, let's go ahead and switch that over here. Let's go ahead and switch us over here. Let me open this up real quick. I believe it's come on load state number one uh oh <laughs> that's one thing you never want to hear during a stream is uh oh uh literally just got done watching prisoner of Azkaban. ooh a fantastic movie by the way uh one of my favorites Come on. There you go. Uh, the the camera direction on that and the lighting and, and the acting and... Oh, my God. It was such a good movie. Plus, I, I will watch anything with Gary Oldman. Uh, nice hair. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mysterious XD. Glad to see you're in the stream with us. Yeah, it's... Uh, like I said before, this is what happens when I don't uh, brush my hair out after a shower, so... Took a shower this morning. My hair has been extra curly ever since, so hey. 
Just kind of kept it this way. Uh, yeah, me too. It's a nice change of pace from Voldemort all the time. Yeah, you know, every single movie did have Voldemort in it. It was, it was nice to switch from, uh, from Voldemort possessing someone to Voldemort possessing someone to one of Voldemort's followers and somebody who might have been a follower. And yeah, it was a nice change of pace. <laughs> Gary Oldman is an amazing actor. He played Jim Gordon perfect, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you ever get the chance to watch uh, Lost in Space as well, that was a, a movie from the early 2000s that was um, uh, made... Yeah, it was a TV show first, black and white, and they changed it into a movie in early 2000s. And I think they redid a, another TV show adaptation um, in I mean, on Netflix a few years back, I, I can't remember, but Gary Oldman was in the movie version, and uh, he did a great job in that as well. So, absolutely terrific, Jim Gordon. All right. Oops, it would kind of help if I clicked in the game. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Controller is not working. Hold on. Of course, it's not a game. It's not a stream. If we uh, have a working controller. Or if we don't have a working controller. There you go. Come on. Yeah, everything should be fine. Very odd, isn't it? Yeah? Everything's moving. Everything's fine. All right. Ooh, enable speaker data. Ooh, interesting. Didn't notice that one before. All right, let's try this again. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy uh, Society says, yo, hello, how are you? Welcome to the stream. I don't know how you found me, but hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I think the whole Dark Knights trilogy was, was perfect. Christian Bale played Bruce Wayne brilliantly, too. And of course, he's Ledger. Liam Neeson was all on point. Absolutely true, 100%. Now the controller wants to work. Um, agree with all your points, by the way. 100%. Um, I, kn I know there's a few people that didn't like the Dark Knight trilogy. I, I heavily enjoyed them. Um, I also very much enjoyed the uh, actor. I don't remember the actor's name, but the actor who uh, portrayed uh, Two-Face as well. I, I very much enjoyed that, uh, that actor's performance for sure. All right, let's go ahead and get us going here. What do we think about um, Robert Pattinson becoming the uh, the next uh, Batman? I have high hopes. Okay, now I just have to remember, I think it's the second floor that's the library, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, yes, he was in The Fall of London and Olympia. I haven't seen any of the Fall of movies. Um, the first one with uh, Morgan Freeman was the first one I saw a trailer to. Oh, no, this is the library. And, uh, I, I've, oh, God. And I very much wanted to watch it, but unfortunately, I, I never got the chance. I really need to watch those movies. Uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna be for a while. My watch later list, the last time we talked, my watch later list was at 104, 106 movies. It has now surpassed 140 movies, and I've only watched one Hermione said in that I time. To go past the library and it was, to uh, the to the restricted section. oh, what was it? What did I just watch? Um, I didn't like it. There's someone wrong. Oh, God. <gasps> I didn't like it, but it was still tree. good. <laughs> 
it's a weird thing to say about a movie. Um, about a quarter way into the movie, I'm like, okay, this isn't my type of movie. So I heard somebody downstairs. Said, I'm just gonna book go it. Past the line. Hey, you. It, last time. Find the it, it still works. Oh my god. <laughs> um, there was a movie that I watched about a quarter way in. I knew it wasn't my type of movie, but I kept watching it because I heard it was good. And then uh, about halfway, I'm like, okay, this is like a two star movie. And then I realized what I was feeling the entire movie, and I'm like. Oh my god, this actually is stressing me out. My my uh, heart rate was like 90 something throughout the entire movie. And I finally realized uh that it was it was actually a really brilliantly brilliantly made movie. I just didn't like it. But it was so good. And it was um Uncut Gems. It's on Netflix. You can watch it. It's uh with um Oh god, I can't remember his name. Um Ben Stiller? No, Adam Sandler. <laughs> why did I why did I try for Ben Stiller? Um, Adam Sandler. It's a really good movie. It literally it, like everything that can go wrong will go wrong, and you are constantly at the edge of your seat. But not in like the action-packed way. It's more of just like the oh my god, anything could happen at any moment kind of feeling, and so it has you constantly on your nerves it's brilliantly done I just it wasn't my cup of tea it wasn't my kind of movie but once I realized you know the the feeling I had for the movie um, I absolutely heavily uh, realized that I I enjoyed it it's a weird thing to say that a movie was great but you didn't like it it's it's a weird weird thing to say but I would heavily suggest that you you guys watch it very well done movie uh, very good cast too there's a I can't remember most of the names other than uh, Adam Sandler who I for some ungodly reason said Ben Stiller first but um, I think it's Jamie Foxx was another one of the main characters uh, and then uh, a particular basketball player I can't remember his name but he played himself if I'm not mistaken Uh, let's see here. Can't get any worse than Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. No, so was Ben Aff... Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Um, I didn't... Did I... Did I not enjoy Ben Affleck's Batman? I don't... I don't think I liked Ben Affleck's Batman. Come to think of it. Oh, I can stun the books. Oh, God, and of course I walk into the other one. Yeah, that that sounds like it. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, we've lost beans. Oh. This is the uh, the one thing I'm gonna be heavily happy that we no longer have to do deal, deal with uh, once we're done with this game is the fact that we lose beans every single time. Um, but yeah, Ben Affleck. I didn't like his Batman. I think the uh, Batman vs. Superman movie, if I'm not mistaken, I fell asleep at the theaters. I it's not my cup of tea. I feel worse because I... Number I, 11. Herpo the Fowl. Herpo the Fowl. I believe I watched that movie with someone. And I just could not for the life of me. It was, it was really boring to me, unfortunately. And I am a Batman fan. I do enjoy the Batman mythos and... Every different version of the, uh, you know, the universes that we've seen thus far, and all the different retellings of the traditional stories and whatnot. I've enjoyed those. I just, I didn't, I, maybe it was just Ben Affleck's Batman that I didn't like. Oh, fake out. We don't have Incendio, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so I can't do that one yet. Um, Adam Sandler, it has to be good. See, I'm a big fan of comedians that do dramatic roles. Uh, one case in point is Robin Williams. If you've ever, if you've ever seen Robin Williams in a dramatic role, uh, one of the ones I would heavily suggest you check out 
is uh, a movie called One Hour Photo. Would definitely recommend. It's basically, um, if you've ever been to like a Walmart or a uh, any place that does instant photo uh, development for instant cameras and whatnot, um, he plays an associate um, that is obsessed with a particular family. And um, he kind of like, He's a little, when I say obsessed, I mean like he keeps copies of the photo. Oh my god, I didn't even know that could damage me. He keeps copies of the photos and, and like pretends that he's in the family with them and stuff. It's very creepy. And then he, because he's obsessed, he notices something's wrong. And so he notices, I, I forget what it was. I think he notices like there was a abuse going on in the family. And he just snapped. It's this very, like, mellow, um, outcasted, you know, kind of character that, you know, doesn't really fit in anywhere. And to see that kind of a character snap and then remember it is Robin Williams playing a very dramatic role, it's just it's so well done. I believe he also played a uh, photographer slash bomber in uh, one of the... What was it? Uh, one of the Law and Order. Uh, I think it was Law and Order season four. I think it was. Um, I think it was Criminal Intent, if I'm not mistaken. Law and Order Criminal Intent. But yeah, no. Comedians doing dramatic roles, I've always loved. Always. Okay, so how do I get to the restricted section? Unless. Hold on. I'm a huge Batman fan, my favorite superhero. Um, and then also, I, I didn't see your comment before, I used to hate Val Kilmer. I don't remember Val Kilmer's face off the top of my head, but I'll, I'll recognize him in, in the moment I see his face. Um, Hermione said that I had to go past the library to find the portrait to the restricted section. So is that the portrait? There's someone round here. Oh god, is that the portrait? Is that the portrait? That's not the portrait. Oh god. There's someone round here. Oh god, and I can't freaking see anything, Jesus. Um I heavily enjoyed Gotham. <gasps> ah, the, um... Mr. Potter, breaking the rules. Five house <gasps> points from Gryffindor. He didn't take points last time. Um, I heavily enjoyed Gotham and what they did. I don't I think I was a few episodes away from the season finale or the series finale and I never finished it. But uh Heavily enjoyed. Hermione Gotham. said that I had to go past oh, the wait, library is it here? to find the portrait to the Ooh, restricted new door. section. Right, somewhere okay, around here is a portrait. I am in the right spot. So how bad is this place? Ter oh God, there's somebody there. Okay. Um, it was a Batman film with Jim Carrey. Oh, Jim Carrey played the uh, Riddler in that one, right? That was the one that was just like super, super strange. Like Batman had his own bat credit card, and uh, oh, Mister Freeze was um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I believe. If I'm so, that was the Val Kilmer one. Okay, yeah, uh, I see your point then. <laughs> your your point's heavily been made. You didn't hear that. Oh my god, okay. Um, Gotham was great, yeah. Yeah, Gotham was absolutely fantastic. Oh, there's no, here. no, there's nobody here. Oh god, they're everywhere. Oh, crap. Mortis, no, huh? no, 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 no. <laughs> you know the rules. You shouldn't be out at night. Ten points from Gryffindor. Oh, I'm screwing our... Oh, I'm... I'm... I am screwing our... Our house over, aren't I? <laughs> oh no. Mr. Freeze was George Clooney. I thought no, Mr. Freeze was uh, was wait, hold on. Oh, I must be thinking of a different uh, a different Harry, po uh, Harry Potter. A different line. Batman then. Yeah, when Before Batman was played by Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. <laughs> right. As, as Somewhere around here is a uh, Tommy Lee Jones played Two Face and Jim Carrey played Riddler. Are you sure? That wait, what, so which which Batman movie was Arnold Schwarzenegger? 
Oh God, where am I? Where Where is he? What was the Batman movie that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Aha! Uh -huh, no, wait, that's the window. Where Arnold Schwarzenegger played um, huh? Mr. Freeze. I remember that because he, he. Yeah. Yeah. See, I said that. Miss. There we go. Okay. Ah, Mr. Potter, you, you figured it out. Okay. <laughs> Five house points from yeah, I was like, wait a minute, because I remember uh, how many cheesy puns in Arnold Schwarzenegger's uh, voice. All the cheesy ice puns that came out of that movie was ridiculous. Hermione said that I had to go past the library. Uma Thurman played Ivy. Right. Interesting. Somewhere around here is a portrait. Movie with Val Kilmer, Batman had two faces and Riddler. Oh, okay, so they they weren't all in one movie. For some reason, I was There's thinking, that, how, how? <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be a this is gonna be an interesting uh, let's play. Uh, Freeze was Clooney's Batman. Okay, so I've got mine mixed up. So I I guess I've seen bits and pieces of both movies. Can you see me from here? Can you see me just peeking? No, he's not even looking. Oh my god, he's right there. Are you kidding me? There's someone around here. How? No. Nope. Why did I do that? Get back to your dormitory. Can't I li Oh. Hey. No points taken off. Hey, there we go. No points taken off. Uh, had the same guy playing Robin in both. Maybe that's why I mixed it, mixed the two up. Maybe that's why. Because there's a common there's a common thread. Hermione said. All right, I kind of understand the layout. Memory. I'm gonna go ahead and run as fast as possible a in a dangerous manner. That's probably gonna get huh? me. No, you are hey, not you. doing that. To I was almost there. Get back to your dormitory. <gasps> Ooh, I, was, I was close. I was close. <sighs> They're both them films were corny. Yeah, you're not wrong. Jesus. Her Man, I haven't even had time to I eat my nachos. Past the library. Find the portrait they were extremely the cheesy though. Somewhere around here okay. is a portrait. I hate this camera. Oh, please don't turn. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. Why would you do that? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is a horror game. Oh, this is a horror game now. No, 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 no. Okay, so I think I have to go there. I have to go up and right. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it now. Uh, old school Michael Keaton will never be beat. Oh, he had a good voice. I do remember Michael Keaton. Talk about a large filmography, too. Her Michael Keaton was in a lot of movies. I have to go past the library. Find the portrait to the right. respected section. Somewhere around right. here is a portrait. Let's bum rush this. Now I know. It's like a maze. Hey, oh god. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Did anyone see him? Hey, you! No! Okay, go on. Get back to your dormitory. Uh. One of my favorite actors. There we go. Hermione said that I had to go past the library <laughs> to find the portrait. <laughs> oh, this is such an interesting. Somewhere around here is a portrait. There's someone around here. Go there, go there, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Locomotor Martin. How'd you get me through the bookshelf? Get back to your dormitory. 
saw that, right? It was through the bookshelf. The bookshelf, I had plenty of protection I had to go past around that library. bookshelf. To find plenty. A portrait to the restricted right. section. Somewhere around here is a portrait. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's okay, you'll just have to make Slytherin lose loads of goil. Yes, you're absolutely right. I will destroy said I had to go uh, past Slytherin's the library, point in history. Find the, portrait to right. the, the good news is I'm not losing any um, points anymore. I guess they feel so bad for me now. Here is a portrait. Hey, come, on, come, on, come, on, come on, come on, you know you want me. Come on. Lost him. Hey, you! Oh my god, it's this guy. It's this. Every time. Part of me feels like I want to do a, um, a save state just to, like, bypass said I have to go past the line certain things. Find the portrait to the right. I just don't remember Somewhere the shortcut right for the. Is a portrait. For, um,. Save state, so huh? I don't want to. Come on. Locomotor Mortis. Where did he go? Oh no, he's gone. Okay. Okay. Oh God. No! Locomotor Mortis! Get back to your dormitory! Oh, this is upsetting. Okay. So what we need to do... ...is we need to kill him. <laughs> you can go straight. I believe you're right, but I could have sworn that was a dead end. What I want to do is I actually wanted to go past him, go up, go right. Somewhere around here is a portrait. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and try to go straight real quick. I will blame everything on you if it goes wrong. Hey, you! There we go. There we go. Yeah, no, see, dead end, dead end, dead end. Ah, so... Get back to your dormitory. Yep. See, I wanted to go up, not straight. Straight is not the way to go. Up is the way to go. The good news is, I know I can uh, pummel them with spells. So said I have to go as past long as the library, find I can the do that. To the right. section. Somewhere around here is a portrait. That didn't even hear me. Look at that. Oh, that was too. Get back to your dormitory. I was too early. Too early. Okay. I've 100% 100% figured this out. 100%. Hands down, this will not fail this time. If it does, I'm going to be very upset. Said, because I if there's another prefect the past this one, find the then I'm screwed. Right. And I think there are Somewhere four prefects. There's one. Portrait. There's two. Come on, come on, come on. There's someone around here. Uh, again, through the bookshelf. Get back to your dormitory. Okay, I didn't wait long enough. Actually, I, I messed up the camera. <laughs> I know how to get past this, though, I swear. Trial and error, typical old school game, I'm yeah. Said. I have to go With very the far line behind line checkpoints. Find the too. Portrait to right. the Hate that I can't just start from here. here is a portrait. We have one. We have two. He's gonna turn this way. Okay, we have 
plenty of time. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nope. Hey. Ah! Okay. There are the there are the moment where I could have ran that I didn't. That's when that dude, when Ravenclaw's prefect was all the way up there. I could have done it when he was in that little corner. Ah. Oh. This is gonna be a <laughs> this is gonna be a long stream. There's a gap to get to cover. Yeah, see, there is a gap. The only problem the is the prefect the looks the over the there place. too quickly. If I'm not if I'm not paying attention to the timing. Huh? Oh god. Okay, come on, come on. You know you want to come over here. Thank you. Then you realize. Where did he go? Okay, see, there we go. See, because what I do is by sneaking past that prefect the way I was doing, I would skip out on this moment. And so I'd get here when he's looking this way. So I wasn't paying attention. Okay, sneak over here. Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Yes. There we go. Okay, now I'm just screwed if there's another prefect that I think there is. Aha! Uh -huh. okay. The portrait! No, there is not a- oh, wait, unless there is. Okay. So, one thing we need to talk about... <laughs> ...is the fact that... ...I... <laughs> ...is that you were indeed correct that I could go straight. But... ...the thing is, okay... <laughs> For some reason, for some reason, I was completely ignoring this part right here. Like, hold on, let me move my mouse. I was ignoring this part right here, and I was just solely thinking, oh, there's only one path, and it's to here. I don't know why I couldn't see this, but I could see this just fine. I do not know why. So, yeah, I could have ran straight. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was much longer than it needed to be. <laughs> oh god, this place looks enormous. I'm just waiting for a very good long cutscene so I can, um... That's another thing with Harry Potter, though. You don't get many long cutscenes. So, I believe my nachos are gonna meet, remain over there for a little while longer. <laughs> Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for streaming, man. I heavily appreciate it. I'm, I'm never going to say no to those. I, how'd you find me? <laughs> My goodness. You just missed me right when I was failing uh, uh, quite a million times. Uh, Kendral Ratman, thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Uh, Riley May underscore, hello. How are you today? Hopefully everything's going well with you and your life and everything. Uh, yeah, you just missed an awkward part, but we're there now, yep. Oh, I was just playing this game. Really? Ooh, I will have to check you out. I will actually uh, check out your stream in just... Where, where have you been in this game at the moment? I'm curious. Where are you currently in your stream? I mean... I hate this so much. I've lost so many beads. I have lost so many beans in these streams. It's ridiculous. No, not again. I think the most beans I've had was like 30 at most. And every time I just keep... No, 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 no. I just keep losing so many. <laughs> oh, okay. This is, um... Mm. <laughs> Can I jump it? Nope. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I swear I used to play these games as a kid, I swear. Uh, just finished this section. Oh, good. 
Good. So you're free from this pain already. Good for you. <laughs> uh, Max Rofe. I've got a, a lovely F.U. Uh, biatch. Thank you for your contribution to the chat. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, come on. No, not the beans. Not again. Oh, it's going to be a long stream. Love the stream setup. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not liking the library setup, actually. Thank you very much. But yeah, thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, every stream, it seems, I've upgraded just a little bit more and more in the background. Okay. Oh, no. I can just sneak over here. There we Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm doing like an ivy thing going up on the ceiling right now. Uh, not sure if you guys can see it from here, but I got ivy trailing along over here. Uh, I've got some, like, blue flower things going on in the corners. I'm going to do all four corners of the room. I'm going to have the ivy streaming around all across uh, the ceiling. Oops, let me raise that just a little back up. Uh, and then I'm going to have those lights in the background doubled to go across every single bit of ivy on the top. It's going to look nice. It really is very professional I like I really like it thank you very much thank you I cannot forget to jump on your uh, jump on your stream and take a look at what you guys have done because that's the thing whenever somebody raids me or uh, whenever somebody follows me I usually oh no I'm down to one bean uh, I usually try to check out their channel after I'm done with my stuff uh, just to kind of see... Do I have no... Okay, I still have my one bean. Good. My one single bean. You need to try to check out their content to see, uh, you know, what they like, what they're enjoying in life, what they're currently going... Is it just feeling sorry for me? Is that the reason why I'm not getting rid of that last bean? I think it is. I've got a pity bean. Um, so let me say this again for the fourth time now. <laughs> I should check out their, their streams and see what kind of content that they enjoy and what uh, kind of stuff they enjoy producing and stuff like that. So I will definitely have to check you guys out for sure. I do the same thing. Nice. Oh, come on. Uh, like I was saying earlier, this is the one thing that I will not... I will not miss from this... <gasps> From this version of the Chamber of Secrets is the fact that beans are a very sad, very empty, very easily losable resource. Oh, my Wigan Weld! I'm so upset right now. I was saving up too. I was saving up for the Alohomora spell book. I don't think I'm getting it. <laughs> Quite frankly, unless I can milk this game, like, with the PC version, with the Dueling Club, unless I can somehow milk the bean count that way in this game, I I don't think I'm getting the Aloha Morris spell, unfortunately. Uh, both I and Kendall are streamers. Perfect. All right, so I have two people to take a look at and see... What kind of stuff you guys do? Uh, expect a follow from me, by the way. I will follow you guys in return, just to say hello and see how your streams are going. Uh, we don't have followers here. We have friends, so just so you know, yeah, you guys are friends now. Welcome to the cult. Uh, once you're in, you cannot escape. I apologize. You are here for life, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, simmering one. Thank you. Am I saying that? No, I can't be saying that. It's sim simmering. Am I saying? Tell me how to pronounce that. The first thing I was thinking was Simmering. Oh my god, and Kendall. Kendall, you followed as well. I appreciate it heavily. Thank you very much for being on board with me. Uh, I ain't that good, I'm telling you right now. I have failed far more than I have succeeded in this game. <laughs> um, the PC games I have heavily enjoyed as well. Uh, a little bit more than the than the console games, unfortunately. Um, but after we're done with each PC game, we usually go in and mod the absolute hell out of it. So, uh, if you'd like to, go back to the YouTube channel. Uh, in the About section of Twitch, um, there's a link to my YouTube channel. Double check it, go in there, and look for a Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone stream 
that mentions something about E3. It should be like E3, uh, GameCube, and PlayStation versions. Um, it is a full stream, but heavily modded uh, for the PC version, and you might definitely enjoy it, especially if you haven't watched too many uh, modded versions of these games. So I would definitely recommend it if you want to see something, you know, kind of unique, kind of. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness, this camera. I've never enjoyed this camera. My goodness. Uh, Simmering01, okay. Simmering01, okay. I just wanted to make sure that I am pronouncing that correctly. Uh, oh no, my content is so bad. Uh, I... <laughs> <laughs> you cannot get worse than me, trust me. <laughs> uh, PC Master Race. You know what? I used to be kind of like, eh, when it came to PC, but only because I used to have really bad PCs. Um, and then, of course, uh, I met somebody named Niji, um, who is Beardly Niji here on, on um, Twitch. But uh, he builds his own computers from scratch. I've shown off his, um, his layouts before on stream a long time ago. And, uh, he does some amazing stuff, and he, he did push me towards upgrading some stuff. And, uh, I have to say, with the amount of emulation that you can do on PCs, I, I heavily agree with you. Heavily agree. Um, especially since, uh, you know, saving content, that's a big thing. Saving content is a huge thing, because, uh, there's a big debacle with the PS, uh, PS4. Um, there's like a battery in the PS4. And eventually it will die out, meaning that you can essentially no longer be able to play your PS4 games way off into the future. Um, so to be able to kind of, you know, keep your game safe and whatnot, emulation is a huge, huge uh, milestone in game preservation. So, wait, was that a person? There, was there somebody up there? No, oh god, not these things. Okay, where am I going? I'm walking in circles. Okay, hopefully I haven't already been in here. Um, yeah, emulation, definitely the key to game preservation. I have already been in here. Um, so yeah, PC, fantastic. Um, I have, I don't know how many Game Boy games I have on here. I don't know how many games I have, um, uploaded from my own PS2 copies and that PSP copies. Oh, PSP copies. What else do I have? Do I have, I don't have Scourge. How do I get past this area? Oh my god. I do not have another Wigan Weld. I cannot handle this amount of damage. Please tell me. Oh. Here you go. I already have a treat. A, a treat, not a tweet. A treat. I already have a treat. This whole time I was looking for another thing, but then I do remember that I did get one earlier. Um. I was streaming this game off my PS2. Very nice, very nice. Um, I have the PS2 Brilliant. copy. Thanks, the only problem is uh, I, I am doing everything from um, from PC because I don't have an Elgato or any um, um, anything like that. Um, because it was running off of CD only though, or technically DVD-ROM, um, there was some lag. Uh, in the pre-stream, so I switched over to the GameCube version. That ISO is far that smaller. What am I doing? What did Hedwig just uh, unleash upon the land? I was not paying attention at all. Oh, but there is the uh, the thingy. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm so heavily... You, you said your streams were bad. I just got distracted with a snap of the finger. I think I do have to go over here. Um, yeah, and so far the GameCube one is, is working just fine. The only problem is the audio clipping, and I don't know how to fix that, unfortunately. But, yeah, right now we're doing emulated games for now. Um, the Kingdom Hearts series, uh, once I'm past Kingdom Hearts 1, because we're doing a Critical Mix mod, um, once we're past that, uh, the Kingdom Hearts community has been heavy in modding right now. Mainly modding, uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. But hopefully they jump back on board with modding uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 because there was the Garden of Garden of Assemblage mod as well as the uh, randomizer for Cage 2 that I definitely wanted to try out personally. Plus there was also a Vanitas mod and there's an Aqua mod in the, in the works and I heavily want to try those out for myself. Um, but I think I, I will have to emulate those as well. 
Um, but other than that, I believe I should be fine with uh, all the Harry Potter games just fine. Because once it hits Goblet of Fire, once we hit Goblet of Fire, um, the games become pretty much universal. So Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, they're all different based off of which version you play. The PC, the console, uh, the handheld. They all have different versions. Once you hit Goblet of Fire, they become more universalized. Uh, the mechanics become... Uh, the, both mechanics and the graphics become uh, very on par with themselves, with each other. Um, so I'll probably be switching to just purely the PC versions of those. Um, Goblet of Fire Onward. Actually, I shouldn't say Goblet of Fire Onward. I should be saying um, Quidditch World Cup. And then Goblet of Fire Onward. Because Quidditch World Cup was also universalized. Um... So I believe that one... Does that come out before or after Prisoner of Azkaban? I can't remember. Because I know Prisoner of Azkaban, they heavily changed the graphics. In the similar aspect with Melody of Memories for Kingdom Hearts, where they changed the graphics heavily past uh, Dream Drop Distance, but then Melody of Memories brought back the old Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2 styles. So, kind of the same aspect. Uh, do you have a pop filter? I do not have a pop filter. Uh, you got it out of that chest. Yeah, I know. I forgot. I don't have a pop filter yet. Uh, I will be getting one. Uh, actually, I have a, an entirely different mic. Um, my roommate just got a, a, a mic. And uh, what we've always done is um, he's always given me his old hardware because he's always constantly upgrading. So I've, I've gotten bits and pieces to build up my computer over the years. Um, and he, he gave me his... Um, Oh, I forget what do you call it. Um, blue, something blue. I forget what it's called, but it's a really nice mic, and it's actually the one I was saving up uh, for originally. Um, and I believe that has a, a little pop filter on it, so I should be fine there. I love streaming Kingdom Hearts One. Kingdom Hearts One is fantastic. Uh, I'd give Philosopher's Stone on the GameCube a try, also. Okay, uh, I believe we played. Oh, ADC, I know exactly what you're talking about that. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, another stream you should probably check out is the GameCube version of Philosopher's Stone. We did play through that, and it was absolutely ridiculous because there was an audio glitch that happened quite literally every single time you would um, access any of the menu sound effects. So if you were to do, say, that or that or that the file that contains every sound effect in the game would play throughout and every single sound effect muffled and slowed down it was ridiculous uh we played we didn't even make it past all we, <laughs> we we ended up switching uh in the middle that was the uh, e3 stream after the e3 version um, we went to GameCube, and then we failed on that, so we went to PS2. <clears throat> um, I give philosophy... Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, there is some popping in the audio, uh, in the mic audio. Uh, it figures. Yeah, this is a very old mic. This is quite literally probably one of the oldest mics you've seen in a while. I bought this off of Amazon for, like, 30 bucks back when I was in high school in, like, 2014. So this thing is, is uber old. Um... But like I said, I have a. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It's a blue thumb. Do I, do I, out? I don't think I have it out. It wasn't in the safest of spots. I don't. Where did I put the dang thing? I don't know. Um, but it's like a hundred and twenty dollar something mic. It's one of the best ones you can get for streaming. So I have that now. I just haven't. I just haven't connected anything uh, but this is basically a karaoke <laughs> this right here um hold on let me just do something real quick so you guys can see you're gonna hear some audio clipping in the game this is basically a karaoke yeah and i, I know i have plans wrapped around this too it's basically a karaoke mic <laughs> uh in, in the long longevity of it it is a karaoke mic so but i got it 
literally for like college meetings and stuff because I actually did do a little bit of teaching on the side as well. Yes, I actually did teach college at one point, even though I'm only 27. Um, but the webcam, do you use? Uh, what webcam do you use? The quality, it's very good. This webcam is the Razer Kayo, not the Razer Kayo Pro, but the Razer Kayo. It's uh, $89. Uh, 99 if you get it off of Razer's website, and I believe it's 84 now if you get it at Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, I just found out yesterday there was a PS1 version of Chamber Secret. Real? Ooh. See, I thought they stopped doing um, PS1 versions after Prisoner of Azkaban, but I actually don't remember if there's a Prisoner of Azkaban one. I kind of want to check out that Chamber of Secrets uh, PS1 game for sure. Um, simmering, I'm qualified 3D modeler and animator. Very nice. Very. Do you ever do any uh, streams on 3D modeling out of curiosity? Uh, Zelda Girl, welcome to the stream. I haven't seen this name in quite a while. Welcome to the stream. We're having a little bit of a talk here, so welcome. Very nice to see you're here. Uh, I'm assuming uh, everything went well. I, I knew you had uh, uh, two little games, uh, uh, two little um, uh, gaming sessions this weekend, don't you? Hopefully those went well for you, I hope. Uh, I've never seen it. It's completely different. I'll have to, I will definitely have to take a gander and see just how different it is. How the hell do we get down from here? Um, a 3D model and animator. That's very cool. I, we might have to talk turkey one of these days because um, I'm working on uh, some 2D pixel sprite games right now. Um, I have about three or four in mind. I've written... I've written one almost to completion. I've written written the other one in a storybook format. Uh, and then I have the other two kind of festering and and uh, molding up in my brain. Um, but, um, yeah, for now I'm sticking to the pixel by pixel games. But I essentially one day do want to do 3D modeling. So I'll have to, I need to... I need to get a tutor one of these days. Uh, just one day, I run the other tomorrow. It was fun. They made a little kaiju battle somehow. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I have done 3D streams. They don't go well because my brain turns off while streaming. Okay. I, you know, I did try to do a, a game development stream for like coding and stuff, and yeah, it it, it melted my brain in the process. I I, I didn't do it myself. Um. I'm going to be looking into Blender myself for 3D modeling. Uh, I did experiment with Blender myself. I, I would heavily suggest it as a fantastic program. Uh, you can get it both off of Blender's website as well as Steam. I'm not going in the, in the wrong way again. Am I, am I? Okay, yeah, I am. Oh, where am I going here? That's not it, is it? Show Hermione. Or show copy of Hogwarts, The History of Hermione. Okay, so I already got everything. Just need to go back. Nice. I could have sworn there is more to this level That's than... Not. Well, I'm right. Because <laughs> this was the way out. Okay. For a second, I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't remember it being this simple. Oh, no, that child. Oh, that cloak is far too large for that child. Jesus. Um... I'm assuming we go through this door now, or is this locked? I need to find a switch. Okay, good. Um, I use Blender. I was trained in 3ds Max, but hate it. I tried 3ds Max. I could not, for the life of me, get into it. I don't know why. I do not know why. How on earth do I There's the bookshelf. Yep. This is a, a legitimate boss fight. Can't make this up. We're fighting. First, we're biting, fighting books. Now we're fighting a bookshelf. I don't remember how to actually. Oh god. Can I target it? Okay. Mm. Okay, it does something. I don't think that's the right way to do things. Okay. Can I... Okay, 
can't push that. I don't have Scourge, so I can't go through there. Oh, I have a message. What do? Do I Expelliarmus? Get, get up, get up. Ah, never mind. I just need a target. Come on. Oh, dodge. Dodge, you fool. There we go. Because that's better. <laughs> that's much better. No, get, 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 get down. There you go. Okay, okay, come on. No, you, okay. It's the only pull. Hey. Yeah, this audio, there's extreme audio popping in the game audio. I know my mic has some issues too, but the game audio for this is, is, is not the best. It's usually with the um, some of the sound effects, including stepping. So if Harry is to step on the ground, occasionally you'll get that little bit of popping. But you can definitely hear it there. A little clicking. Uh, and, and that wasn't in the, uh, the PS2 emulation. While the PS2 emulation itself was slow, because like I said, it was going off of... Uh, a CD copy or a DVD ROM copy. Nope. Just, there you go. Um, oh God. Can I? Can I? Just lock on the lock. No God. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. How on earth do I get out of here? Oh, Harry. If I could tell you, it'd be too easy. Uh, there was a section after this I was stuck on for so long. Uh oh, that that gives me <laughs> that gives me great hope. Thank you. Um, the head banging Harry <laughs> needs to be memed when you move the box. I will find a way to meme it. Don't worry, it's the internet. We'll meme it. <coughs> GameCube is just cursed. It really is. Oh oh, can I? There you go. Goodbye. Oh, it's timed. Great. Very short time, too. Also, I keep forgetting uh, the PS... Um, the PlayStation version of this, R1 is targeting. And L1 is uh, first person. But in this version, it's L1 is targeting and R1 is first person. So that's been confusing me this whole playthrough. Come on. Okay. Oh, and I jumped too f Oh, well, this is going to be interesting because um, I have no Wigan Welt potion. So the damage that is done here during this level is semi-permanent until I can make it to another. Come on. Come on. You! Lovely trickster, you. <sighs> and see, while I do PC modding for uh, these games, those are worth it. If I were to do anything here, for the console versions, unfortunately, all it would be is just your, your very basic, you know, give Harry 100,000 beans, you know, give Harry full health, you know, just little things like that that wouldn't necessarily be fun modding as it would be just essentially very obvious cheating and i don't really want to do cheat runs i want to do mod runs mod runs fair runs of which How I am on earth do I get out of here? Not uh hmm. <laughs> I'm 
a little bit upset. Okay. That is an interesting way to jump. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. One more. One more. Elite concentration here. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not doing that. The ghost would have gotten me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. We are safe. I say safe uh, in a very lackadaisical way. I actually don't think we're safe at all. <laughs> I think it's about to get much worse. I gotta go for a bit. I'll leave your stream lurking though. Thank you. I might be back before you finish, but if not, have a great stream. Thank you very much. It was very nice meeting you. And thank you for being on board. Um, we are gonna be playing through the entirety of the Harry Potter games, uh, or the uh, entirety of the Harry Potter series. We will be doing the uh, PlayStation 2 versions of the first through third games. We will be playing the PC games from start to finish for all eight games and uh, the first three games will be heavily modded so um, glad you can join us and hopefully we'll be able to give you some uh, unique entertainment in the meanwhile but yeah and I will check out your uh, your channel later on as well so there we go thank you for joining us okay uh, that was just BS yes it was it was so BS uh, oh now we have Scourge just like that okay how useful will this actually be, and should I just fall? Okay. I'm not even going to take the chance at falling because I don't want to take more damage than I have to. And we are safe. There we go. Well, uh, I say safe very, uh, very weakly. Hmm. Love the sound effect. No. No. How many beans? No. Oh, the controller went out just for a second. I have... I still have only one bean. Oh, I'm screwed. And actually, wait a minute. I don't have a save point. I haven't had a save point in a long time. I don't like that. No, 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 no. Get me out of here. Get me yeah, Thank you. Okay. Uh... This doesn't look om ominous at all. Oh, that looks like an arena. That's an arena. <sighs> okay. That's an arena and my cup no longer overfloweth with cream soda. I'm scared and I am sad. Okay, come on, controller. Thank you for working today. What was that sound? I didn't like the sound. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, there are ghosts. Great. Oh, there's so many different things that can kill me. No! No! How on earth do I get out of here? <laughs> this, is your, this is your punishment, Harry, for existing. Oh, switch. Hello. Okay, so that's how we're going to do this. I still haven't had my nachos. This whole time, I kept saying to myself, oh, just eat the nachos on stream, so you'll be fine. You always eat on stream, so what's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is that I cannot make it to my nachos. That's the worst that could happen. You and me both, Harry. 
Wait, that ghost did not damage me upon... Oh, that could have damaged me. <laughs> that ghost uh, did not damage me when going through the first time. Interesting. I'm wondering... So, coding-wise, I'm wondering if they're... Okay, no, it's just a really weak hitbox. Most likely the hitbox is damaged due to the fact that there's a widescreen patch. Eh. Ah, there's a switch. I just want to double check to see if there's a chest around here. No chest. The worst that happens is 50 soups. Oh, is that going to be our inside joke from here on? It's the 50 soups. Is that is that going to be our thing? Or one of our many things? Oh, uh, one thing I want to point out real quick, though. Speaking of inside things. Um, there is something... If possible. Oh, God, Squill. I knew. How did Harry get. No, wait, I wasn't. I'm not ready. <laughs> wait. Wait. I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on. I need to get something real quick. There's something that's always on my desk. Since you're here, Zelda girl, there is always. There is something that's. Let me move this up just a little bit. There's something that's always on my desk. Every single time. I cannot start a stream without it. And I want you... Oh, oh god. That's not supposed to make that sound. <laughs> there we go. And push that back down. There we go. I do not start a stream before it, uh, without it. But, um... Uh, where was the cutscene with Draco? I know, right? There was no cutscene with Draco. I'm assuming that this is one of the many differences between the, uh... PlayStation and the um, GameCube version. There's a lot that's cut out in the green in the in this version. Um, but just to point out, uh, Zelda Girl, there's something that I, I never I never um, start my streams without. And actually, quite frankly, I don't do anything on my computer without because I always have this on my desk every single time. But if you remember this, let me see how. Yeah, it's just a white piece of paper, isn't it? <laughs> Hold on. You're going to get some audio cut back. But hopefully you're still paying attention, Zelda. Because if you... Come on. I'm on the right side, right? Okay, hold on. Let me turn down the brightness of that. There you go. If you remember this, hopefully you do. Because you and somebody else made this for me. You and Troy. I have this on my desk every single stream, and I have this on my desk every single day that I'm ever on my computer. So just pointing that out, that is still my, my little good luck charm, and it will always be my good luck charm. So just pointing that out. To people who don't understand this, a long, long time ago, see, because uh, uh, me and Zelda Girl are friends in real life, very long, long-lasting friends. Um, well, I stayed the night at uh, a family household over there. And before I had left for home, before I took the bus home, uh, they had made me... Let me switch back over to uh, to Maine, otherwise the uh, audio will be weird. Um, they had made me this little lunchbox full of really good snacks. And I absolutely loved it. But there was this little read me there in the box and it was this little good luck duck thing with a little with a little TARDIS on it and ever since that day I had always kept it with me because it was literally a you know it was a little good luck note but that has brought me luck every single time I've ever had it with me and so I usually I, I definitely need luck while I'm on my computer because I'm, I'm always doing my coding and I'm always doing my art and I'm always doing, you know, these streams with you guys and gaming in, in my own time. Um, but that has always brought me the best of luck and the best of memories. So I, I've always kept this by my side. So just to let you know, 
uh, Zelda Girl. I have never once placed it off of my desk. This has literally been on my desk every single moment <laughs> um, that I could that I could keep it on here. And before, when I was um, over there with you guys, um, it was on the shelf uh, that was next to my head as I slept. So it's very important to me that I still keep this and hopefully I will have this for the rest of my life. So thank you very much for making it. And I heavily appreciate you and Troy for everything you've done. I just want to say that uh, while I got you here. Um, let Troy know that I still have it and uh, it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> but it, it's, it's a very important part of my, my, my life. So thank you. Um, all right. Oh, yeah, kind of would help if I clicked in. There we go. All right, time to destroy a Slytherin. Oh, oh, Troy, oh, perfect. All right, let me, hold on. Let me switch back over here real quick. And let me turn off this light here because this, for some reason, was messing it up. So let me flip back over. Uh, he's right next to me. Awesome. So, this, oh, come on. There we go. This was the front. You definitely would recognize it straight from the front, Troy. <laughs> from the front itself. Because on the inside, if I'm not sure, you probably still remember this. I hope you do. It was when you guys made me a lunchbox before I left your place the first time I ever stayed the night with you guys. And it was this good luck dock with a little TARDIS on the side. Um, like I was telling Zelda Girl, um, this has never left my desk. This has always been by my side in one form or, an or another. Before I had this desk, and when I was with you guys, this would be on the shelf next to me uh, where I used to sleep. This would be by my head as I went to bed every night. So this has never gone anywhere, and I... Honest to goodness gracious, uh, probably wouldn't have even made it this far without this little good luck, uh, good luck note, good luck charm that you've given me. So, um, like I was saying earlier, um, I'm never getting rid of this, and this will be hopefully with me for the rest of my life. But I, I cherish this this little note. I had a friend come in before, and we're like, "What? What is that little thing?" And it was like, "It was a little good luck charm, a little good luck note that uh, one of my best friends." had ever given me and they're like but it's so simple and i'm like it it's this thing this thing means more to me than gold depending on the market uh this might actually be more this might actually legitimately be worth more than gold i don't know the <laughs> i don't know the transaction rating between this and gold but this means more to me uh than the riches in the world and i would i i would fight tooth and nail for, to get this back if somebody stole it. it somebody could come into my house right now steal the computer steal the TV, steal the Playstation steal my bed, steal anything that I own in this room um, this is the one thing that would actually make me upset because everything in this room I can get back Okay, every little thing in this room it would take, it would take a while but um I would still get it back. This is irreplaceable. So, I, this is the reason why I cherish this the most as well, is because this is, this is... Anyone can buy anyone anything. You can buy your friend um, a flashlight. You can buy your friend a book. You can buy your friend a, a pack of playing cards. When you make something for someone, you give it life. It suddenly becomes its own entity. It becomes its own living, breathing thing with its own memories and its own heart. Anything in this room, or I should say everything in this room, has its monetary value, but this has a value you cannot place in a monetary foundation. This means more to me than anything in this room. That's what I'm saying. So, like I said, I've had this with me ever since that day. Um, there's actually little pinholes <laughs> um, because I was still living at the old house way back then on Main Avenue. Um, there's little pinholes on here. 
And what I actually did was I hung this up above my bed when I lived at the old house. And then once I moved out and I moved in with, uh, moved into Cypress Street um, with Grandma for like a month or two, um, when I moved over there, um, I had it in my wallet. And then once I moved in to the next place, um, I had it on the shelf next to where I slept. And now I have it on my desk every day. So I wake up to it. It's right there reminding me that everything's going to be okay. <laughs> so a little cheesy, but it means the it means the world to me. So there you go. Um, thanks for sharing. We love you. <laughs> I love you too. Definitely. For sure. 100%. You guys mean the world to me. That being said, what is the uh, monetary value of gold these days? <laughs> I, I had to say something goofy there. We're starting, we're starting to get a little, a little teary-eyed. Actually, if you really want to be technical... Um, <laughs> if you really want to be technical, Zelda girl... Two words. Groucho Gaster. Those are the two words I'm mentioning to you. Particular birthday event. These. That's right, I still have these too. <laughs> Somehow history uh, does not leave us in the end. History follows us and we just... We twist it, and we turn it, and we shape it into what we need to continue on. So, anyways, let's go beat up a, a, a small obese child for whatever reason. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh, that that was a mistake and a half. There we go. See, all I have to do is just cheat a little bit. And everything works out. And now... There we go. So where am I going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is Malfoy still up there? Hold on. Was Malfoy up there? Because I remember Malfoy being up here. Because uh, ADC mentioned, actually, come to think of it, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. ADC mentioned that there was a scene with Malfoy that we didn't get. Malfoy was up here, and he was taunting Goyle. I remember this. Yeah, they cut out a lot from the GameCube version. Come to think of the GameCube version, though. How on earth do I get out of here? <laughs> well, Harry, that's what doors are for, to get out. Um, the, the GameCube version, if I'm not mistaken, is smaller than the PC, PS2 version. Unless I'm, I'm completely, you know, not right in that regards. But, yeah, there's a lot missing from this. Uh, free roam in the field, uh, free roam on the Hogwarts ground as well has been removed. It's now these little, like, waypoints. I, I don't know. I mean, I get it. Most likely it was for, you know, loading purposes to make sure that the game didn't take a million years to load. The GameCube, you know, was a very powerful machine, but... Um, it was also debated as well, so I don't know. I mean, that, that's the only reason I can really think that things were cut out. It's interesting. Come on, come, come. There you. No, don't pull the dang thing. Push the dang thing. Thank you very much. Okay, I need. Harry struggles far more than I expected in this game. You'd think that a 12-year-old that boy who's been locked in a, uh, you know, in a cupboard under the stairs for most of his life, who has had no PE teaching and, you know, no exercise whatsoever, would be able to have extreme body upper, uh, upper, upper body strength. You would think. You would think he'd be the strongest person in Hogwarts. Just saying. This was, uh, I don't know. I feel failed by the writing. Oh, no, no, just, just, th put, th th there you go. 
Wait, th look at that story. Props to the realistic, um, <laughs> the realistic design. Harry would not have had any upper body strength with how little training he ever got with, because I believe, didn't he have, he did have a PE class in the Muggle world when he went to school with, with, um, um, Dudley. He was bullied even in that school. And I remember there was a scene where he was up on the roof hiding from Dudley and his gang. But I believe that was during PE, if I'm not mistaken. It's been so long. I really need to rewatch, I mean, I uh, reread those books. I have the books literally over here in like three different bins. I have a, a bunch of books. I, I need to flip through that again, but I believe Harry did have PE class. It's a weird thing to think about. You never really think about these things. It was... Okay, I knew that portrait was something. Okay, where is my enemy? Uh, you know what? We're going to ignore the fact that they're... Hey, you. Nope. <laughs> when in doubt, run. That always works. Uh, you was meant to battle Crab, too. Yeah, that's right, because once Goyle failed... Malfoy had called out Crab, and Crab would fight you again. Oh my god, they cut out so much. That's right. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, Miss, uh, Mysterious XD. So guess what I found out? All the Kingdom Hearts games are on uh, Game Pass on Xbox, so guess what I got? Yes. I'm very happy to hear this news. <laughs> very happy to hear that. Very glad. No, leave me alone. Give me beans, give me beans, give me beans, please. Something, please, I need more than just one. You're like Lay's potato chips. You can't have more than one. I mean, you can't have just one. There we go. I'm so sick and tired of not having any beans on me whatsoever. I... Like, I know Alohomora isn't going to be that substantial of a spell to have. It's an optional spell to get in this game. It's not a taught spell. That being said, it's probably just going to be to unlock, you know, certain special prizes. Uh, particularly, um... Uh, quite particularly, it's going to be, um... Wizard cards. But I still want it. So I still want to get as many of the uh, wizard cards as possible. So. Uh, didn't EP with all the adventuring they did over the years. Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong there. Um, yeah, they got to a lot of exercise, come to think of it. Ch Chamber of Secrets was a... Uh, fantastic way to exercise uh, and you had all those very awesome slip and slides like perfect um, I'm gonna be replaying today very nice let me know how far you get I cannot wait to see you at please get past the first game please get back uh, get past Tarzan I know when you had the PlayStation version um, you played through that just fine um, and then we got to Tarzan's world, and then I, I, I think I helped you out a little bit with that area. Oh, do I, I, I do not have enough beans to get in here. Yeah, I only have 14 beans. Um, do the, uh, the game share or whatever. But, um, please get, try to get as far as you hey! can, please. I'll be playing Kingdom Hearts again tomorrow, history, by the way, it so. It wasn't easy. Slytherin ambushed me. Crikey! There, there's the there's going to be a certain point in tomorrow's stream, Mysterious XD. Because right now we're going through what, what most people call... Was founded oh, I can't pause it. Ago, I'll, I'll mention it after this cutscene. Cutscene! I can eat nachos! Helga Hufflepuff, Rowing yes. Ravenclaw, and Salazar Slytherin. For a while, the four founders worked in harmony together. You, you guys Seeking thought I was lying, by the way. I, I've been waiting to eat this entire time. Aldebert, those full-layer... 
nachos. Slytherin <gasps> believes that magical learning should be restricted to all magic families and that no students of non magical Double Harry Potter this weekend. Um, a serious argument on the subject caused Slytherin to leave the school. I kind of want to finish Kingdom because Hearts tomorrow <laughs> because, <laughs> because of how many Kingdom Hearts streams I've missed. But I also kind of want to try doing an earlier stream because like, these used to be 6, 6 p.m. Now they're 8 p.m. I might try to get on 6 p.m. tomorrow. If I can get up even earlier, that'd be great. Because I used to have weekend plans and, and I, I don't now. Uh, I always love the language that Ron uses. Is a monster that only the air of uh, The room control. looks nice. Thank you. But what kind of monster? Well, there kind is a name I have not ghosts. seen in a while. Welcome Ooh, to the this stream. Talk of monsters is giving me the creeps. Thank you very much. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. Did Ron just do the? Uh, I'm going to bed. God damn it, he did. But yeah, I might uh, be able to pop on tomorrow, uh, a little bit earlier for a um, another Harry Potter stream, and then. Uh, but first and foremost, though, Sundays will be Kingdom Hearts streams. I uh, will continue Kingdom Hearts tomorrow. Is that it for today? I think that's it for today. Yep, that's it. Oh. Speaking of the room, I do have... Uh, some of the new vines came in. I actually have not put them up yet, but I have a whole pack of vines over here on the floor. Gryffindor. Oh god, I'm down to 200 thanks to my... Powerful. <sighs> thanks to my... Oh my god, one point away. Um, thanks to my travesties of... Um, adventure... Oh my god, one nine nine... Uh, travesty of adventures uh, with the uh, prefects. Oh, come on! What kind of a... Um, score is that? <laughs> That's a very fixed score there. I don't know. I, I don't like that at all. That's some bogus. Oh my god. Alright. Um. Oh gosh, those controls. Is that GameCube? That is indeed GameCube. We're playing the GameCube edition of the, of the uh, Chamber of Secrets. Um, the PS2 game that I have, it, I, I never did a backup of it, so unfortunately I am disc only. Disc only is not working well with the PS2 emulator, it's very slow, so we went for a GameCube uh, version instead, which is running uh, quite smoothly with a little bit of an audio crack issue whenever certain sound effects like steps happen, So, but otherwise we, we moved uh, past that quite well. Um, Yep, uh, he's literally left his bed to talk five minutes and then go to sleep again. That's me. <laughs> That's me, though. I will do that. Because, um, like, Niji will knock on my door at, at, at a proper time in the morning when I'm supposed to be awake. But I'm not. Because I stay up all night. Because that's just how I am. Um, insomnia is a bitch. And he'll, he'll... I'll hear some knocking... And I'll wake up, and I'll go to the door, we'll talk for a few minutes, we'll chat about something random and awesome, and then I'll just go back to bed <laughs> for like another hour. Morning, Ron. Oh, it's Transfiguration. That's, that's first, very it? close, Ron. Yeah, very, first floor. Very close. I'll meet you there. You don't have to scream in my face. I, yeah, I, I, I will indeed meet you there. Oh god, the movement. Oh... The way they twist their bodies around to... Like that, that very quick shuffle. There's just something... There's something wrong about the shuffles. It's just, it's no. I don't like how the NPC bodies, like, follow you. I don't. It's just... There's something... Something off about Being that. able to talk to snakes must be quite cool. I bet they don't have much to say, do they? I thought that was Neville. Is that Neville's model? That is Neville's model, but that was Neville's. That was a Neville's voice actor, was it? Huh. Uh, I'm still at 17 beans, aren't I? Or 14 beans? Oh. All right. 
Ravenclaw coming up. Yeah, Ravenclaw is coming up, but I, 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 I want to be higher up because I'm currently playing as a Gryffindor. As a Ravenclaw myself, I would be very happy. Hello, for... Harry. People are saying you'll be heir of Slytherin. Speaking of the Ravenclaws. And did you really order that snake to attack your classmates? None of it's true. And I didn't order the snake to attack my classmates. I told it to leave them alone. I'll believe you, Harry. Though thousands wouldn't. Then this dude's just like... Another interesting um, change that I don't quite understand is that Slytherins in this game are robed in purple. I've never understood that. Green works just fine. Green is not a color that is absent from this game. Harry's eyes are green and you're just going to have to take my word for that because I can't get a close enough look. But, um, and there's green in the portrait. But I don't understand why they... It doesn't clash with the blue at all. It doesn't. So I don't know why. Why they've made this choice. I don't feel very comfortable talking to you at the moment, Potter. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable talking to you either, okay? Um... Hufflepuff purple. Actually, wait, is Hufflepuff? Oh, yeah, no, Hufflepuff is purple. Never mind. Slytherin is green. Never mind. Yeah, so why is Hufflepuff yell uh, purple? Hufflepuff, there's no purple in Hufflepuff. Or Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff is yellow. So, yeah, at first I thought it was Slytherin that was uh, purple, but uh, yeah, no, they're, they're green and silver initially. I just thought they changed their colors in the games, but no, they did yellow to purple. I don't understand that difference. Because the robes are usually yellow. I... Wait, isn't it Prisoner Prisoner of Azkaban? Weren't they yellow? Who just warned in Prisoner of Azkaban they had their robes yellow? But it doesn't make sense for all of your main colors, right? It doesn't make sense for all of your main colors to be picked for Slytherin, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. But then you switch to your secondary color for Hufflepuff. It doesn't make sense on an aesthetic level. It is not logical to switch to your secondary color for one house, but pick your your primary colors for the rest of them. I don't get it. Yeah, Hufflepuff is yellow traditionally. I know. Yellow and black. Yeah. Yeah. Let me... Just yellow in general. Just, yeah, you can just turn it to purple. I don't understand why. <laughs> Purple robes, who, the, who does he think he is? I like that. Uh, you might be able to turn off the footsteps in the sound settings. Unfortunately, footsteps are not turn offable because if I turn off the footsteps, that turns off all sound effects. If I'm not mistaken, uh, options only allow me uh, to change sound effects and sound effects. Yeah, if you hear that too, by the way, it's not just the steps. Because even after I stopped pressing that, it still had that clicking sound. Listen to this. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I don't understand that sound. So I don't know why I have rumble on when I, I don't need rumble. Yeah, like you can hear it after I press this too. I don't understand that. So yeah, it's either play the entire game with no sound effects whatsoever, or play it with the sound effects and just a little bit of a clicking issue. Thank goodness it is just the issue with GameCube that we are having. Uh, didn't have this issue with PlayStation, and I know for a fact we're not going to have this issue again later on in the future games, because I have tested those games. They're fine. They're fine and dandy. Uh, what in the world are we doing, anyways? We are Transfiguration class on the first floor. Ah, uh, I believe this is the time we get to change things into birds. Abifors, if I'm not mistaken. Let me switch my... 
Uh, Rumble is indeed vibration, yeah. It's AFK has already beat me to that. Uh, why change it to color that's not even in their house colors? Yeah, exactly! I don't get it. Um, controllers were new with vibration, so it was still something you could turn off. Yeah. Well, actually, um, most games you can turn off vibration now, thank goodness. And, uh, if the game does not come manually with an option, then your console will have the option to turn it off, uh, completely as well. So there's options no matter what these days, thank goodness. Uh, could be worse, like Hedwig can't open the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bring us back to that PTSD. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, I almost missed uh, first floor again. Please don't let there be books. See, the books are not alive during the day, thank goodness. So I can get as... So theoretically, I could just get as many beans as I... Oh, uh, we're, we're going to ignore the fact that I hit Ron there. Um, is this door? Yeah, it is. But theoretically, we could get as many beans as we want during the day. Oh, that's a gargoyle. And um, at night, spend it before we get attacked by flying knowledge uh can you still feel like you can't yes you can most games like i said most games will allow you to change the morning. uh Today vibration and if the game does not the console does abifors. abifors will allow you to transform small objects such as the parts of this statue into birds this is achieved like so abifors and there he go, that boy. Space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Avifor's challenge. Mr. Potter, come forward, please. See, Avifor's is cool and all. But I enjoyed yes, Lapifor's and Draconifor's The Avifor spellbook is located on the other side of this crawl space. Find it, and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Yes, Professor. Why does Up he sound so, like, distraught? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, you have to come back with your spell. Okay. Like, no, <laughs> why would you be upset? Oh. Some of the voice direction of this game's on. Ah, and here's the traditional imprisoning a small child in a dungeon cut off from both the uh, school and the world. What a great idea. I'm assuming since we have a gargoyle here, we are going to need Spiliamus. The flying books remind me of the Page Master. Oh my god, there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. The Page Master, yeah. Feriverta. Yeah! Well, no, 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 no. Let's not get that mistaken. Feriverta allowed you to change water goblets from animals. There is a difference. There is a huge difference. Feder Verte allowed you to change your animal into a water goblet. Uh, Avifors allows you to change random objects into birds. Lapifors allows you to change random objects, including statues, into rabbits. And Draconifors allows you to change random objects and statues into small dragons. So there we go. Uh, I played HP game a long time ago on PC that you controlled a rabbit and you had to solve puzzles. That is Prisoner of Azkaban. Because he knows that these challenges are a bitch, yep. Fair, fair. I also don't remember I played this when I was a child. Yep, yep. Most of these games I played, oh god, as a child. I had to hide them from my mother. Good time. Oh, I just got rid of Scourge. Gosh dang it, okay. Oh, Jesus! Okay. No, 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 bean, 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 bean. No, I missed another bean. Why'd you give me a successful sound effect when I have failed? I don't approve. That just feels like you're slapping me in the face. Okay, well, I guess, um... All right, well, I guess we're going... Even gravity... Even gravity takes my beans away. I'm, I'm upset. 
I'm very upset. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm just double checking something real quick. There, let me go here, let me go ahead and close that, there we go. Alright, just double checking. Alright, well, now that we're distraught from the lack of beans once more, let's go ahead and uh, plunge yourself into danger further to lose even more. Oh god, no, 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 you can't give me a second time with the same old trick. See, oh, Jesus! <laughs> no! The beads are back to 14 again! God damn it! Oh, <laughs> it hurts. I am unhappy. Have I mentioned this yet? I'm unhappy. Didn't we unlock that? Did we unlock another hole? Oh. Oh, I see things. Ah, uh, oh. Oh. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh, God. No, 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 no. You stay away. I'm not quite sure how I can do that. Oh, my God. I'm down tonight. No, no, my beans. No, no. <laughs> down to nine B. I forgot to get more wig and weld. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's the thing. Okay, just Harry. Just no. Just at this point, just drop your your. <sighs> I failed myself. All I have to blame is myself. That and Zelda Girl for distracting me with the, with the chat. I can blame you as well. Okay, door. We're safe. Nasty little wizard. I think they willingly sent a child into this place. Yeah, you know, it's just... It's just good business. Oh, gosh dang it. Okay, so I need, um, boom. Okay, come on. Let's refill a little bit. Uh, I see, says the blind man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As he picked up his hammer and saw. Look, it's only like an eight foot drop. Get over yourself, knees and ankles. <laughs> Yeah, keyword only. Only? No, oh my god, why were there three of them? It's dark in here. Maybe I should use Lumos. A spell that I keep taking off for other spells. Yes, let's use that one. Lumos. There we go, anything else? Ooh, a chest. Please be a chocolate for- oh no, it's just a blue card. It's just a collectible item. I need health, though. Number 85. Blenheim Stork. I don't think we got his card in the Sorcerer's Stone. Expert on the non-magical and author of many books, including People Who Notice, a study of awareness of magic and the non-magical. 
That's an interesting thing. See, this, again, I will mention this. Every time I come across a very interesting wizard card, we should invest in the possibility of a Harry Potter series, or a Wizarding World series. Just a, a TV show. Give it 44 minutes to an hour to run you through a short story of each of the characters involved in each of the Wizarding cards. I'm just saying they would make a lot of money off of that. I'd be willing to watch every episode. Every single one. Oh, okay, there we go. Wait, hold on. No, I... Okay, I guess we're not... Gonna... Okay, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Let's... Let's panic. Panicking is good for us, right? There we go. Maybe Harry also has a bean allergy and they're trying to help, okay? <laughs> no! God damn. I heavily blame you. Heavily. Okay, so, one thing I want to point out is the fact that when you're magical, you can teleport. Okay, so Harry's down here. There's no climbing animation. Let's keep this, let's keep this in mind. Just watch this. There is no climbing animation. Just, oh, Harry's down here? Now he's up here. <laughs> oh, Harry's down here. Now he's up here. There's a little bit of a climbing one there. But the first step, though, is to... No. Okay. Here we go. Um, a wizard who studied... What?! I'm gonna lose so much health by just existing. Jesus. Wait, how did I fall? I wasn't paying attention. Did I just... Oh, wait. I don't think I, I stepped forward, did I? Was I just hanging? I think I was just hanging, wasn't I? That would explain it. Okay, hold on. Let's let's go to a safe spot real quick. If we can find one. Oh, please leave me. Stop giving me happy, joyous music. No, 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 please. I, I beg of you. No! One more attack, and I am dead. One more attack. And I am down for the count. Or one foolish... No. One foolish jump. No! Leave me alone, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will never leave this stream with the knowledge of what has happened here. <laughs> you will erase any memory you thought you had of this level. <laughs> I came in here with 14 beans. Well, at least it saves a, a little bit of progress. Teleporting Harry, there we go. Come on. Come on. You can be faster than this. Please. Why does it keep giving me the happy music? No! Leave me alone. Thank you. It's like this nice little congratulations, you didn't die. Oh. God, I need that sound effect for real life. <laughs> oh. 
I was minding my own business. My beans, my beautiful beans. No, no, I'm down to four beans. No, please. I'm gonna be very upset if I can. You! <laughs> oh, God, I don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're gonna run at me? You don't, no, you're not gonna run. Okay. gonna come along they're gonna take what beans I have left and then I'm gonna walk out of here with less beans as always yep here she comes yep there goes the beans yep didn't need those didn't need those at all you want some beans too yeah yeah there you go I'm gonna take my last bean okay. there you go yay okay okay all is well. All is not well. Ah, give me the old one, two. <gasps> no, are you kidding me? You have to put it in the right, the right, the right angle. Just the right angle. I'm at two beeps. Okay, first of all, just to save me some time. Okay, of course it's not going to let me do it that way. Okay, there we go. Let's do this again. Okay, Harry, you're... Harry's just tripping on air now. Okay. And I'm going to lose my last bean here, aren't I? Because it locks you in on one bean, apparently. There's my... Yep, there he goes. <sighs> oh. I'm looking forward to that Hogwarts Legacy game as well, because I'm pretty sure that game doesn't have lovely mechanics such as ghosts stealing beans. Don't you pat me, I will bite your hand off. <laughs> 50 soups have been delayed for now. Good. I do not deserve the soup. I need to earn the soup. I need to earn the soup's respect. It sounds like Harry lost a few beans on his own there. Yeah, I'm losing a few marbles too. On a serious note, thank you for all the energy you bring to the stream. I haven't been the best, and this has made me smile, so thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I'm able to give you guys a little bit of a smile here and there. Especially in my own pain. No, no, no. What is this? What? No. What was that? Why? What have I done? Okay, I've done a lot of things in my life, but what have I done to deserve that? Oh, but yeah, I'm very glad this is this is this has brought you some level of entertainment. Yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Thank you. And that's another reason why I do enjoy streaming as well, is just the thought that I can make at least one person smile, you know? Because 
this game sure can't. You know what? There was a uh, somebody earlier. Somebody earlier who mentioned that there is a uh, part of the game that uh, they were getting stuck on. They couldn't get past. I think this is it. This is the level. How? Oh, old games, you make me weep. Even the game is starting to get frustrated, it's starting to lack. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Why am I still here? Why is it lagging so much? Oh my goodness. I mentioned that I have no Wiccan Wells. Please let me get past this part for the love of all that is holy. Please. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Come on. I'm almost there. Come on. Oh, no. No, I don't have any place to go. Oh, no. This is it. If I go down right now, it's, it's unhappiness. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. Wonder if you can sue a game company for uh, emotional distress. shouldn't have gotten up, Harry. You should- Okay, there we go. Run, 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 run. Thank you. You know what? Forget the beans. I just want out. This is not something you should have subjected a small child to. Not at all. Come on. No. Ah! Look at that little dodge. Yeah. Come on. No! No. No. My beans. Not again. Do you know what? Screw the beans! Come on. No! Come on. Come on. Come on. You want to piece me? Come on. I. Kicking me while I'm down here. Come on, please. I I just want to walk. Please. 
Oh. Thank you. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. I'm not even using the right spell. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> oh, oh, I almost died. <laughs> are good. Uh, let me... Okay, find your happy place, breathe. <laughs> this is a place of acceptance, no judgment of friends. <laughs> oh, this is not a happy place. <laughs> this is a very upset place, thank you very much. Um, I have to ask coming in late, what are the beans actually for? Uh, the beans are to the beans are to buy particular upgrades and items and collectibles in Fred and George's shop. The only problem is some of those items go up to a hundred beans. I can't make it out of any level past fourteen. <laughs> uh, I have bought maybe three items from them, and that is it. Unfortunately, so I haven't had the the, the lovely experience of. Purchasing large quantities of items from Fred and George's in a long time. Sorcerer's Stone did not have this many issues. Or Philosopher's Stone, whichever one you'd like to prefer. Um, th I don't understand this game's mechanics of... Or this game... The game maker's decision to make damage equal the removal of beans. When in the first game, didn't have it. In the third game, didn't have it. The fourth game, I think they brought it back, and it still sucked, but there was enough beans per level to make up for it. And then the fifth game onward, they, I believe, got rid of beans entirely. But yeah. Uh, see, the thing is, jumping at angles, I would love to not jump at angles if the camera wouldn't get stuck against the walls. That was another issue. I couldn't straighten out the camera, therefore I could not straighten out the character. Uh, that level was a bit unfair, to be honest. Like, you can't do anything to sneak around them. They can get you uh, when you can't defend yourself. And see, here's another thing. Lumos, and all the other games, can hurt ghosts. In this game, apparently, Lumos just hurts Gyrotashes. Gyrotashes are ghost dogs. So when you saw me putting up Lumos earlier, it wasn't a random button press. It was the flesh memory of the fact that Lumos hurts ghosts. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to put on Lumos, I'll hurt the ghost, the ghost will disappear for a little bit, and I'll have to deal with it for a little bit. Not in this game. But in the first game you could, and in the third game you can. What happened with this game? <laughs> Who hurt whatever game developer at EA Games to add and subtract things in this game that are essential? Why? Why did you do this? And then the next game, you didn't. I, uh, <clears throat> it's called GameCube. Yeah, you know what? Correct. <laughs> I, I didn't have this much... You know what? I'm, I'm, I am going to blame it on GameCube specifically. I didn't have this much of an issue with PlayStation. But the GameCube version, I'm struggling heavily on. So I'm going to... Yeah. I am right to uh, to blame the GameCube version. There you go. Uh, I feel like that because the, game, the story gets darker, they did away with the beans. Yes. Yes, you are correct on that. I would say so as well. The, the way the game upgrades certain things and, and rewards you with certain things as well, um, there wasn't a need for beans afterwards because they became very story and uh, exploration based. So... Anyways, birds. We have birds now. All this for birds. You like birds, guys? I like birds. Hey, watch this. I can turn this rock into a bird. 
Wasn't it worth it? Wasn't all this pain and suffering worth it? Please tell me it was worth it. <laughs> And Harry never used this spell again in his entire life. It's like math. <laughs> it is like math. I'm gonna jump down here and not the ghosts are gone. But yeah, you're you're taught how to do quadratic formulas and then you're you're never gonna use it again. In the same way as Harry is taught how to use Zabaphores. In what part of his life would Abaphores be a useful thing for him to learn? Where? Nowhere. Oh no. <laughs> I already know. I already know. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Dang it. Hold on. Very... Why does it play the... Why does it always play that sound? Also, in the PlayStation version, I find this very interesting. In the PlayStation version, Aberforth is actually a much slower spell. So, the... The traveling of the bird would actually be quite a bit slower than it is in this game. Just little differences. I don't understand the reasoning behind these differences. I don't. Sony best old Nintendo after SNES bleh. Eh. I never really did anything with Nintendo, so I cannot agree nor disagree. But the Wii, though. I love the Wii. Oh, uh, speaking of, uh, in my spare time, I have found a dance pad on Amazon for like 20 bucks. I'm gonna get me a dance pad. I'm definitely not streaming. Uh, <laughs> definitely not streaming that kind of stuff. Only because of, uh, a, DC, uh, a DMCA and copyright and all that for music. But uh, I do have Step Mania on my computer and uh, I've been meaning to get a little bit more exercise and I have recently found uh, a bit of joy in uh, dancing in place at work. Um, what I'm working on, like campuses and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do a little bit of, a little bit of uh, step mania over here, which is the, the PC equivalent of Dance Dance Revolution. But I've been doing it with nothing but keyboard, which is heavily doable. Uh, I would have gotten like a an, an official Dance uh, Revolution game for like PlayStation. However, I want to pick my own songs because I'm I'm out of the loop for most music. I'm very old-fashioned, so you give me a list of 100 songs, I will probably know 30 of them. And that's being very generous. Oh, come on. But yeah, it's being very generous. I would like to put my own songs, which is why I like, uh, uh, Step Mania. <coughs> Plus, I like the challenge of some of the modded, uh, maps as well. There's some really good modded maps for, uh, Step Mania. And here we go. All right, how many times do you think we're going to die here? It's out of curiosity. How many times do you guys think we're going to die here? We're about to encounter a boss. And this boss hurts. A lot. And I have no Wigan Well potion to heal myself. I haven't encountered a chocolate frog at about four levels. And uh, I'm less than half health. How many times are we going to fail this? We, LOL, I'm into VR. Okay, well, you know what? You have a good point. Uh, <laughs> well, I enjoy the Wii, and uh, I also have a Nintendo Switch. Uh, you might even be able to see it from the pillow in the back. I don't, I, I can't see the screen from here, but on the pillow in the back, there's, there's a blue Nintendo Switch. But um, I, I pretty much only have Animal Crossing. <laughs> So, not exactly the most active of, of games. Uh, though there is somebody that just, uh, they did something, they a lot, they, uh, did, um, 
like a Mario racing wheel controller, and they made it to control Animal Crossing, so different actions, you have to do certain things with it. It's, it's interesting. But, uh, okay, let's, let's, let's go ahead and get prepared to cry. Am I gonna have to deal with the ghosts at the same time? Because that's very unfair if that's the case. Okay. This is gonna suck. Oh my god. And he curves it. What kind of unfairness is that? Uh, what is this? I I'm definitely not gonna beat him this round, but like... Wait, well, he curves it slightly to the left. There's no way I can beat this in one go. With how my health is right now. Where did that go? <laughs> what? What is this aiming? Unfair. That was very unfair. I've had like three bites of my nachos. <laughs> okay. God, this this skate this this emulator does not like this section of the game. I pressed the button! Thank you. No- oh, come on. That was unfair. Uh, okay. please. Uh, hey, come on. Come on. Oh, thank God. Okay, didn't make it to the first try, but I definitely made it to the second try. That is a win in my book. Oh, and he turned into a bird, uh, a bird egg statue thing. Because that's what you do when you're a stone gargoyle. You turn into a bird egg. That's what I would do. Turn into a bird egg. Get out of my way, please. Yep, go over there. Could I have just taken that path? Yes. Would that have been the easier way around? Yes. Do I ever take the easiest route? No. Should I? Yes. sound effect is for playing a little bit too much there. Okay. Oh my god, come on. Okay, 
freedom. Oh, that was an extremely stressful level. But I get nachos out of it. A superb job, Potter. 40 house points for Gryffindor. That How do you fail that? Today. Class dismissed. How would I get... Nice one, Harry. You did well there. Uh, and good luck with the Quidditch oh, match. Oh, no. There's Quidditch after Quidditch this. match? Yeah, you and me both, Harry. Jeez. There you are, Potter. Haven't forgotten our very important match against Hufflepuff, have you? What if I told you I did? I'll meet you outside the stadium. No, you won't. Oh. These games are kid are for kids. These games are for children. These games are rated E for everyone. These games are easy. <laughs> Lord check those symbols on the wall there. What do they mean? The symbols where? What symbols on what wall? These symbols? These ones right here? Back in the dungeon. Uh, was it the symbol... Hold on. I have YouTube open. Let me double check. In the stream. Where you had asked me. Why is, why is that quality? Oh, come on. Oh, those are just Latin symbols. I don't quite remember what they stood for, but yeah, I actually used to know symbols back in the day. Technically, in the Harry Potter lore, they're technically not symbols, they're ruins, but yes, they are. I forget most of them, unfortunately. It's been a long time since I studied that. Thank God I don't have work tomorrow. <laughs> I would have been so upset if I had to work tomorrow after this stream. <laughs> this stream has stressed me out quite a bit. What is a room but a magical symbol? Well, what is magic but science we have yet to understand? So there we go. I haven't seen a save point in so long. It's beautiful. I haven't seen a save point since we started the stream. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, sir, I. Oh, Olivander. Uh, Olivander. Oliver, I thought you were. I thought he was blue, but instead it's just the uh, reflection of the stained glass. This is the purple thing. They're better than us, Hufflepuff. All right. Yeah, see? This is what I have an issue with, right? In the PS2 version, you had a free roam... You had, you had a free roam area. Right? And now... You have these, like, waypoint things. I don't like this. I want to explore. This is not exploring. This is sadness covered up 
in text. That's what this is. And like, see, you can't even, like, look at that. Look at that border. Look at that boundary right there. I'm walking forward. This is upsetting. I don't like this. I like free, I'm a free rain cherry. Excuse me, I'm a raven. Gurgle thankfully at the purple. Think they're better than us Hufflepuffs. Wait, I don't get it. I thought you were Ravenclaw. Why are you saying us Hufflepuffs? To Jim Beezer. Welcome to the stream. If you were at a Hogwarts house, which would you be in and why? I have been officially sorted into Ravenclaw twice. So I'd probably be in Ravenclaw. I do... Because I ain't brave. So I ain't a Gryffindor, that's for sure. I don't have courage for the life of me. Slytherin, uh, I ain't prideful. Uh, Hufflepuff. Um, I wouldn't fit in Hufflepuff either, so I, I would definitely go... Uh, Ravenclaw. They got a little bit more cunning than the rest of them. Come on. That, you know... I, again, I find Gryffindor a little bit too... Like... I don't know. I find Gryffindor to be very prideful. I don't know. And then Slytherin, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Slytherin, speaking of prideful, but also the, uh, the semi-racist belief system that they have, uh, built heavily into their, uh, you know, the whole thing with all Salazar Slytherin thing that only pure blood should have been taught, etc. Nah, don't want to be a Slytherin. the lag in the Quidditch Stadium. But while while I'm focused on this, I can't look ahead. Look at that Look at that gorgeous like scenery that I can't look at, that all y'all can look at. Just fine. Oh my god. Come on. Boosts always throw me off. Jesus. Where am I going? There we go. Why does Hufflepuff have so many points? Why does Gryffindor have no points right now? Come on. Why are Chasers so horrible right now? Oh, there we go. Gryffindor finally got a score. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. Get him, get him, get him, get him. No, Harry, come on. Come on, no, Harry, please, 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 please. Come on, catch the dang thing. There you go. I this. I get you now. I get you now. Oh my god, look how many points Slytherin got. Holy crap. Oh, Slytherin, why? That's quite a bit. Oh, 290. It's AFK Ravenclaw. Uh, you, you, you ain't doing too good. You ain't doing too good, unfortunately. Hufflepuff got 50, though. Hufflepuff did do better than Ravenclaw, but... Unfortunately, uh, no, no snitch. Um, and, uh, uh, with Hufflepuff, they're... Hufflepuff has, a uh, they're very loyal. Like, Gryffindor is, is loyal to themselves, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know. I feel like Hufflepuff is is, is a lot more loyalty. 
Um, while Gryffindor has their their courage, Hufflepuff has. Well, you know what? I I feel like. Okay, and Hufflepuff also extremely hard workers. Extremely hard workers. They're the studiers. They're the uh, the studiers of the school. Whereas Ravenclaw is a little bit more, a little bit more cunning, a little bit more intelligent, a little bit more. Um, I don't know. Huff, to, to say the least, Hufflepuff is like the the goody two shoes of uh, of Hogwarts. <laughs> Answering a message real quick. Oh, that was kind of you. Oh, that was very nice. But yeah, uh, but yeah. So yeah, Hufflepuff. I want to say is like the goody two shoes of the school. The the studiers, the the thinkers, the. Um, They're very, they're 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 very justice kind of seeking, and then Ravenclaw themselves, they're they're more sly, they're more cunning, and they're more intelligent. They're more, they got a little bit more of an air to them, you know, not as pompous as, as Slytherin, to say the least, but you know. Gryffindor strength. Yeah, Gryffindor is strength and, and uh, I, I wouldn't say power, but definitely strength, yeah. Um, Hufflepuff charisma. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say so. Uh, even intelligence, yep. Slytherin dexterity. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ravenclaw has more hipster, low-key geniuses. I could definitely see that. <laughs> yeah. Nachos, give me. Oh, I'm sorry for hitting the mic there too. Well played, Harry. Food comes I first. I'm sorry. Out after that. <laughs> I am. I'm going to bed. You ever look up in the in the sky, and you realize that Ron is going to bed at like five in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm just saying. And see, we can't even go to the grounds. We can go to the grounds if we talk to him and do the uh, the gnome throwing, but I don't want to do that. I want to go to the lake. That would have been nice. Sniffs and pushes up glass. <laughs> It's later than five, it's sunset. Well, you know what? Nobody goes to sleep at sunset either, okay? And hold on, you said sunset, all right? Let's let's go back to the Quidditch pitch. Let's, let's take a look at that horizon real quick. I don't think that's sunrise. Sunrise is a little bit more orange. That's a light yellow. Look at where the sun is right now, okay? In that loading screen. That is not sunset. That is like 5 p.m., okay? Hold on, let's go back. <laughs> if I can get past the barriers. All right, let's look at the horizon, right? Sunset, that is not close to sunset. Sunset is way later than this. Oh, I, I do like that lens flare effect though. That's a very good effect. But this has got to be like five, about 5 p.m. That's 5 p.m. That's very 5 p.m. Why is Ron going to bed at 5 p.m.? That is not later than five. Based on the light, it would be dark in like an hour. No, it would not. I'd give us another three hours before it like was like the purple of the sky, you know? That's some beautiful scenery in the background. Our architecture is really good. It really is. I've always loved the architecture of this game. Of the games in general. Like, oh my goodness. Now, see, another reason why I'm upset that this is uh, that I'm playing the uh, GameCube instead of the PS2 version is you can indeed get the uh, Nimbus 2000 and you can explore the grounds whenever you want, wherever you want, and there's even secret areas in like in the towers and stuff up there 
Oh, if I can turn, Harry. There you go. Thank you. Like, there are certain areas where you could land up there. It'd be like a secret chest or something with beans. So, I don't know. Uh, though, ain't it interesting how it's blue during sunrise but orange at sunset? There is a reason why. It has to do with something. <laughs> it has to do with something. I mean, I'm, I'm just looking back to, like, Axel's explanation of, of sunsets. It's like, you see, light is made up of many different colors, and out of all of the colors, red is the one that travels the farthest. Come on. Food. Mmm. Mm. There's this ginormous chunk of avocado in that bite. That was amazing. Why are you still here? I've done my deed. Come on, Harry. Everyone's waiting. Let's go to the Quidditch Stadium. No. <laughs> I've, I've done my duty. For Queen and Country, thank you very much. Gryffindor. Oh, spoilers. You've played Uncle that Bob. game. Or at least you've seen bits and pieces. That's literally the opening scene of the Rainbow. game. <laughs> what time zone are you in? I am in um, Pacific Standard Time. Slytherin. Um, 8 plus. So, I'm in California in the United States. Also, keep in mind, it also depends on daylight savings time as well. Can't forget that. Can't forget what time, uh, what time of the year it is as well. 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. in the winter is different than 5 p.m. during the summer. We don't quite remember which part of this, uh, which, what time we are currently at in this game. I don't remember, I think... Halloween's already passed, hasn't it? You're not going to believe this, Harry. Hermione wants you to meet her in the girls' bathroom. Hasn't Halloween floor. already passed in this she game? She's got a plan to find out who the heir of Slytherin is. When was the Polyjuice Potion made? I think you can only do it during a certain time. Girls' bathroom, second hmm? floor. Isn't that supposed to be haunted? I forget when the Polyjuice Potion is made in the Chamber of Secrets, but it, it, it is very important. Uh, Gryffindor Merit Badge. Oh, yeah. Grand Staircase. Yes, right. I never found that one. I don't think I found that one, did I? I did not find that one. Wait, did I? I did not find that one. <laughs> Wait, well, how many beans do I have? I have one! Oh, it makes me so sad. One of these days off stream, I'm just gonna, like, find a way to farm beans. In the safest environment in this game. Okay, so we gotta go to the bathroom. Okay. Okay, so which form we're going to? <laughs> God, I can't pay attention for the life of me. Uh, floor two. Okay. Uh, Calif... In Illinois. Oh, interesting. Uh, California, so light and seasons mean different things here. Yeah, you're not wrong here. And I went past the second floor. Of course I did. No, 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 no. I just got these beans. No, I just got these beans. Jim Beezer, thank you. <laughs> No, not incendio. Not library. Is this the way to the bathroom? I don't think this is the way to the bathroom. This is not the way to the bathroom! <laughs> Why is there a... Why is there a fire crab in here? Oh. 
Hey, hello. I will take all of these things, thank you. Ooh. Oh, I have found the mother load. This is where all the beans that you have lost through the entire game go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. There's so many beads. This was the best moment of my life. <laughs> Okay, so what's over here? Ooh, what's in here? Uh, it's upgrades. Yeah, so it's upgrades. It's unlock. Oh God! No! 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 no. Not the beans! Not the beans! Not the beans! Not the precious beans! Oh God! No! 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 Stay away from it! No! The beans went through the wall again. Oh god, there's so many. Why are there so I lost so many beans again. No, 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 no. Beans, please. Please. No, 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 no. Oh, this was not worth it. Why is there it's a ah oh, I'm angry. I'm down to 23 again. Ow. I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, back to 23. At least it's better than one. But oh my god. Why are there five crowns in here? And why was that... Oh. No. So stressed out. Where am I now? Oh no. Oh no. No no no. Stay away, please. No, I lost I lost another bean. I lost two. I don't like this game. Give me another one. Hurry. Give me another no 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 no. Give me another bean, please. Okay, back to twenty three. We should have like a bean storage, you know? That'd be nice. Okay. So that's floor two. I feel the same way, Harry. On floor two. Oh, there you go. So literally the one door I haven't checked. <laughs> um, but yeah, so beans basically allow you to buy extra wizard cards. It allows you to um, keep in mind every tenth wizard card you get like a health boost. Um, no, sorry, Myrtle. Pack upgrades, nice uh, here. optional spells, stuff like that. Um, hold on, I'll answer you in a second. Let this cutscene play, play through. The of is, so we can discover who wants all the students with non-magical parents out of Hogwarts. Well, it's not me, I hope. Do you think it could be Draco? Well, if it is... How do we prove it? One of us needs to get Malfoy to answer a few questions without him realizing it's us. That's what I was thinking, which is why I've been making a Polyjuice Potion. What's a Polyjuice Potion? It transforms you into somebody else. One of us could change into a Slytherin, and Malfoy would probably tell us anything we wanted to know. I managed to sneak a bit of Goyle's hair during Transfiguration class and mix it into this. One sip, Harry, and you'll look just like Goyle. Oh, great. And we didn't even collect the... Okay. Oh, Harry! Are you okay? 
okay. <laughs> this version Try of the game cuts so he much content. Lurking about the dungeons this time of night. What happened to cat? What what happened to the boomslang skin? What happened to boomslang skin? First of all, what happened to um uh? Oh god, there was another ingredient too. I can't remember what it was. There's two ingredients. Why? Do they cut out so much? Um, but yeah, so is this the Game Boy version? No, this is the GameCube version, all G-Boss. Mm -hmm. Bit of audio clipping, by the way, just so you know. Um, by Cornhorn. There we go. Correct. Thank you for that. A uh, bit of audio clipping. The audio clipping, yeah, because I'm running off an emulator. Uh, the PS2 version, the disc was running a little bit too slow on my computer, so that was lagging more. This lags whenever there's a large area, and unfortunately there's a lot of large areas in this. Um, so yeah, unfortunately there's a, a bit of audio clipping. Not all the time. Most smaller areas are, are just fine without any clipping. Um, but there is a little clicking sound whenever there's uh, certain sound effects are played. So it's a little bit of an irritant. This is the only game we've had... Um, these kind of these kind of audio issues. Huh? Okay. But yeah, how are you tonight, by the way? Uh, XX420, XX420. Very interesting uh, username, by the way. So, how are you tonight, or today? I don't know where you are. I have a few people who are in the uh, the Netherlands. I have a few people who are in Ireland. A couple people who, uh, I believe, there is one guy who had seen my stream. I believe he was from... Greenland. That's what it was, Greenland. So yeah, there's a lot of time zone differences here on this stream, I've noticed. Um, Australia, we're in lockdowns on board. It's like two in the afternoon. Nice. Yeah, whenever I say uh, I'm going to bed after one of these streams, they're like, but it's already morning. How are you going to bed? And I'm like, it's like midnight over here. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Uh, and I can't see how many house points I have for Slytherin. I was gonna say, because right now, if there are any prefects in here. Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna do anything? Oh, that sucks. That's some. He's been looking for you. That's some, uh, what do you call it? Um, ah, Goyle. Did you know that Draco's favoritism right there. Prefects are supposed to like ruin the lives of students. Thank you very much. Not make them easier. Especially at nighttime like this. Number 43, Cyprian Yaldo. Only Quidditch referee ever to be killed during a match. The originator of the curse was never caught, but believed to have been a member of the crowd. Who would kill a Quidditch referee, let alone any Quidditch player at all? That's very interesting. Oh, come on, Goyle, get over here. But no, what about the Slytherin common room? Let's just kill him. <laughs> you know, Goyle. This game. I'm surprised the Daily Prophet hasn't reported what's going on here. I don't like this I game. I suppose Dumbledore's <laughs> trying to hush it all up. He'll be sacked if it doesn't stop soon. The amount of content this Father's game always said old does not have. the worst thing that ever happened to Hogwarts. He loves that non-magical lot. A decent headmaster would never have let that jumped up Granger mudblood in. And as for Saint Potter, the mudblood's friend, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. 
and people think he's the Slytherin heir. Can you talk any slower, Wish Draco? Wish I knew who it is. I could help them. Oh, you must have some idea who's behind it all. <laughs> you know I have Goyle. How many times God, do I that have forced to Goyle voice. But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber okay. of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco, I'd best be going. Don't work. It's like when you have that one racist friend and, like, you're having a normal conversation. And then he starts, like, talking yeah, about, like, the Mexicans or something. I, myself, am Mexican. Um, and then you're just like, ah, okay, so I gotta go. <laughs> Get going, Goyle, before what? your fat belly explodes. What is this animation? Why is he... <laughs> I'd better get out of here, and fast. What is this? And now I'm s suddenly instantly hairy. No transformation, no nothing. Oh my god, this is a wreck of a game. Like, there are certain parts in a game that you realize they were extremely rushed. Like me, going through this right now when I should be stealthy. And nothing bad could happen. Oh my god, did I actually just sneak through that? I really should be getting back to moaning in the <laughs> bathroom. I just snuck through that whole thing. Okay. This game hurts me on a different level. Like, I don't know what level it is. It just... It just hurts a little, you know? You know something's wrong, but you can't do anything about it. Cheers, dude. I used to play the PC version at like six, so every once in a while I'd come, uh, I come some, I come watch some gameplay for nostalgia. Yeah, I started with the uh, Philosopher's Stone on here actually, uh, and then I, I we, actually we we did the PC version for Philosophers, we moved on to PS2 version, then we moved on to the PC version of this game, then we went to the PS2 version, PS2 version lags, so we went to the GameCube version. Yeah, we, I love this, I love the Harry Potter games in general. Um. Most people would kill refs in real life if they could get away with it. Um, yeah, you know what? Never mind, come to think of it. Come to think of it, you're right. Some dude who just uh, lost like a hundred racks of galleons <laughs> in the Red Skulls or something. Yeah, yeah. Easy clap, yep. I could heavily see that. Uh, especially after I, I just finished watching, um... Oh, what was that movie called? Um... Uncut Gems, I think it's called. So, speaking of, you know, extreme betting on sports. Yeah, I could see. Well, it isn't him. Malfoy's not the heir of Slytherin. Oh, he must be. <laughs> that little, oh. Who else could it be? I don't know, but it's got to be someone who was here at Hogwarts 50 years ago, when the chamber was last opened. Well done, Harry. You did a great job. See you in the morning. Hi, Harry. Harry gets no appreciation. He is undervalued. Overworked and underpaid. Harry is a retail associate. Hello. Oh, a boy! Get away! Yeah, because you're not a ghost. You, you can just... You can't just fly away or anything. Oh wait, can I just I can just end day? All right, let's see what the next level is, and we will probably go ahead and call it a night here in just a moment. I love the games up to the fourth one. Didn't like the mission style gameplay over the more free roam style. Fair enough. A lot of people didn't like the uh, Goblet of Fire. Ravenclaw. I definitely warmed up to it. I didn't like it at first. 239, one point. One point difference. Hey, that one point difference won me, uh, won me that week's worth of uh, points. I like that. I didn't like the Goblet of Fire at first. And then I, I warmed up to it, though. All right, what are we doing today? Because depending on the mission, we'll probably call it a night now. 
else have we got first today? It's Charms with Flitwick. Um, are you on the second floor? Charms? So I believe that's going to be Incendio. So since we're doing Charms, we'll go ahead and call it a night here. I'm going to go ahead uh, and go to the nearest save point, which I believe is just outside this corridor. Uh, because we've also been playing for... How long have we been playing? We've been, call we've been playing for about three hours now. So that's a good time for our streams. Go ahead and save over here. There we go. Yeah, I, I I didn't like the mission style for um for that at first, and then I actually started playing uh, Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry had kind of a um. Uh, a similar aspect in gameplay where you'd have the mission mode. Um, You'd play a little bit, you'd get a new item, and you're like, ooh, let me try this out in the old levels, and they'd reward you with more points, or you'd unlock a new path, or something like that. So, um, once I started playing through the Devil May Cry series, I made it up to four. I still haven't played five personally. I've seen bits and pieces. Um, once, I, once I got up to four, I started getting a, a real feel to mission-based games, and I enjoyed it. Um, so Goblet of Fire, I didn't enjoy at first, but uh, I, I enjoyed the aspect later on. And the amount of customization you could do for each character based off of the little wizard cards, those were very well done. It was a very interesting way to upgrade your characters and uh, do a little bit extra, extra oomph in your spells. So, uh, have a good night, dude. Okay, XX420, XX420, thank you for joining us tonight. You have a good night as well whenever you make it to it. Like I said, uh, like you already said, you're, you're at like, what, two or three in the, you're at two in the afternoon, yeah. So when you get to your nighttime, then go ahead and have a good night. But uh, until then, have a good afternoon. There we go. Um, thank you for everybody who joined us tonight. We had uh, an excellent amount of fun tonight. Got to do a lot of the game. Uh, I keep forgetting how much content there actually is in this game. So, uh very, very much uh, enjoying what I have. Even though there's a lot of content that has been cut from this game, um, it's still heavily enjoyable, nonetheless. Um, uh, true, I kind of gave up after my fourth. Maybe I'll chime again sometimes. Makes sense. I gave up for a while, too, so I, I definitely feel it. Uh, just popping back in to see how the stream is going. The stream is going very well. We're about to... Uh, we're basically saying our good nights here. Uh, we made it past the Avifor Spell Challenge. Uh, had a little bit of a... Uh, uh, talk about sunsets and uh, time regions and whatnot. Um, went to the Quidditch match, found out that uh, if you go back to the castle instead of ending the day right after the Quidditch match, if you go back to the main part of the castle, uh, Oliver Wood is still there saying that you should go to the Quidditch, pa uh, Quidditch pitch, so they never patched that little issue out. Well, there wasn't patching back of the day, so you couldn't fix it. Um, but yeah, we got through a relatively large chunk uh, and we still have almost no beans. <laughs> We're able to make it back up to 23 beans. Uh, we started the stream at 14, and we continuously hit uh, very low numbers constantly. So, unfortunately, the bean grind has been very low this stream. But, uh, but yeah, Simmering01, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, I heavily appreciate it. Um, Kendall Ratman... Was fan it was fantastic having you in the stream as well. Um, we have quite a few. Uh, we have Jim Beezer as well. Thank you for joining our little team here. Um, Dynamic Raven, like I said, did a uh, did a raid of three people uh, last stream, and today Simmering Ring uh, uh, Simmering Zero One did a raid of seven people. So, thank you very much i heavily appreciate it i i very much appreciate meeting new people and i had a load of fun today um thank you to it's afk for making it to the stream tonight it was a very nice call back to have you back on the stream you always have very interesting things to add to the chat and i heavily appreciate your time here um of course like i said jim beezer thank you for joining uh bringing in some uh, you know coming in clutch with some of the good questions you know uh very much enjoy harry potter related questions so thank you for stopping by zelda girl thank you for making it to the stream i know it's been busy for you in your life um as it has been in mine but i heavily appreciate you making it in for a stream um and we had a few other people here as well adc came in hey thank you for joining as well xs uh 420 xx 420 
Um, I'll be back on tomorrow, by the way. We're going to do a, a stream again tomorrow. Um, but thank you very much for hopping on board on this little journey of ours. Um, ADC93, thank you as always for joining. You were one of the very first people who uh, followed me on here. Uh, so it's always a pleasure to have you on for a stream. Uh, I'm very sad that Lucky Luck uh, has not been on the streams as of late. But I know our time... Uh, our time frames are quite a bit different than how they used to be, so um, hopefully he's, he's catching up on some of the uh, older streams, and hopefully school is going well for him. Um, Watermouse did not make it to the stream, unfortunately, today, but um, uh, hopefully he'll be on again one day. Uh, Mysterious XD did make it to the chat today, thank goodness. Uh, we found out that he is getting the Kingdom Hearts games in their entirety for the uh, Xbox uh, he sold his PlayStation a while back, so unfortunately he can't play them on there. But uh, now he's a new Xbox, and so he's getting all the games uh, through Game Pass. So congratulations to Mysterious XD for uh, moving forward with a new gaming series. I hope you very much enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I think that's everybody. Uh, thank goodness. Um, always add nice people to my auto host list. I'll add you as well. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and add you as well. Definitely. Um, I'm gonna, once I'm out of this stream, I'll go ahead and, and check out your content and see what you've been up to as well. Uh, public holiday for me tomorrow, so I might come and watch if I have internet. Well, I'll be very happy to have you on board. Um, tomorrow we are playing Kingdom Hearts. We're going through a uh, mod that was made by the community um, called Kingdom Hearts uh, Critical Mix, which revamps the, uh, the fighting mechanics of the game, uh, weapon mechanics of the game, and certain enemy mechanics of the game as well, and iteming, uh, items, new abilities, a whole bunch of new stuff. So really, really fun uh, mod. Definitely uh, come on board if you have the time. Uh, Simmering01, have a wonderful night. Uh, XXX420, XXX420, thank you. Have a good afternoon. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. To everybody else, you all have a good rest of your night. Everybody be nice to each other, everyone. Be nice to yourselves. Make sure you all stay hydrated. Make sure you all stay well rested. You have a good rest of your night. Goodbye for now.